everybody, and welcome to Adventure on So Many Levels. <laughs> I get a cheer or some kind. Yeah. Like, quote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody uh, discovered the soundboard. Yes, um, the ambiance we're going to be using in the sound effects tonight is coming from Sirenscape, spelled with a Y. S Y R I N. S Y R I N, I suppose, is also, you, you know, it's Y. And you, you, you get it. I spelled it, right? It's good. We're fine. <laughs> yeah, we're no, fine. We got it. We'll do it live. Um, <laughs> we edit this out in post. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Uh, so, we're going to play some Dungeons & Dragons. I'm Christiana Ellis, the Dungeon Master, and our players tonight, Chooch Schubert as Autocree, the Tiefling Paladin. Hello there. Mark Kilfoyle as Alaric Copperbeard, the Dwarven Fighter. Good evening. Starla Hutchton as Nirakina Ethu, the High Elf Cleric. Greetings and salutations. And in avatar form, we have uh, Vivid Muse as Amethyst, the human druid. Hi, guys. And returning from last week, we have our special guest, uh, Lauren Scribe Harris as Kalista, the half elf wizard. Hi. Guest on a very Yay. special episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we last left our heroes uh, in the flooded town of Elamonsha on the lake of, or on the side of uh, Lake Elamon, although it used to be more on the side than it uh, is now because uh, right now uh, it's flooded. The lake has gotten bigger. And you suspect that has something to do with a magical fissure between uh, the different dimensions of time and space uh, that might be in it. But you've uh, done some investigating, and you were trying to find a buyer for your magical flail snail shell, the giant 250-pound rainbow-colored snail shell. Um, it didn't go so great, um, because uh, the contacts you had were looking to skip town. In the process, you met Kalista, a half-elf wizard who is likewise suspicious about some of the goings-on in town here. And so you guys connected and did a little interrogation um, of these uh, criminal types. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much where we uh, pick up. Uh, the lot You guys were last uh, seen screwing around with your... Uh, uh, snail shell and your bag of holding. Uh, Kalista cast a reduce spell to shrink it to, uh, you know, one half on, in all dimensions, which made it just barely fit in the bag of holding. And that's where we left. Oh, that was so fun, though. Yeah. <laughs> Couple of uh, mishaps due to the uh, spells, uh, the shell's spell reflection <laughs> abilities. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have uh, some uh, folks in the in the chat, including uh, uh, Trevine saying "Water Temple," which is the name of the uh, this episode, and saying "Oh God, the horror!" And uh, yeah, it was not uh, not a coincidence. The classic Water Temple from Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. That's <laughs> uh, one of that's water kind temple. of life been in a hurry to get here i really well, want to live that life it, it, it life. is <laughs> well um, it, it does you know uh uh tip my hand just a little bit in terms of uh telling you guys what i'm assuming you're gonna do so if you guys suddenly decided you know what screw this lake let's get out of here let's blow this popsicle stand it would certainly um make my preparation uh, be less helpful for tonight but obviously this is dungeons and dragons so Heroes of legend go where they want. So, where do they want to go? There is another town. I had right? a dream. Have we? It may have not we rested be the right yet? destination. No, it is still like early afternoon. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Although most of you didn't actually um, do any fighting. <laughs> yeah, I think Archie needs a nap probably more than anybody. <laughs> yeah. Just he Archie was and. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, and your your halfling friend uh, Andre, although Andre uh, didn't didn't take any damage, so and no uh, 
No, no spell slots for her, so she's doing fine. I have to sadly confess that because she doesn't have an avatar on the screen in front of me, I <laughs> it's easy I to forget, right? forget. I yeah. do. I try not to. I have that issue too. Um, although it's better than uh, in my the the other stream I'm doing, the Curse of Strahd one. The party has four different NPCs following them at the moment. <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> wow. Maybe one of us can put a little uh, halfling face on a piece of paper and stick it in your background. Mm -hmm. I actually was. I actually just wrote Andrea on a big piece of paper and just stuck it next to the screen. So it's like a constant reminder of. Um, we didn't end up now. using it on the map um, last week, but I do <laughs> actually have I've a got. new token for her, which is. Uh, let me just. Well, it's gonna look all just all silhouette in this light, but. Uh, She's mysterious. Yeah, that's a mm -hmm. new token for Andrea. <laughs> all right, so uh, enough stalling. Where are you guys going? What's the plan? <laughs> To the um, lake. To the lake. So how how far is? Well, so we're on the lake, basically. This, huh? this little safe house that Kalista led you to uh, is at a distance where there's about six inches of water on the ground floor. You guys are up on the second floor, out of the uh, you know where it's dry, uh, but. When you asked someone where the temple was, he basically pointed straight at the water and said he can't miss it. Right. Do we want to secure whatever items they had in that wagon ready to skip town? Um, we could go check out what they had in the vault. Grod. Were they using a boat? Oh, that's yeah, right. Like a little skiff. They had a raft, I think. Right. Which isn't going to be secure if somebody just wanders in. Mm -hmm. There might be some nice know. things there. It would be pretty easy to move. But, you know, everything's underwater. Yep. So do we take a boat out to this temple? Or is it, like, required to swim? I think you have to drown first. Uh, there no. are a couple of ways to get in. Um, most of them are flooded, and unless you want to go through the skylight. <laughs> but uh, the what? There's a skylight at the temple. That could be fun. <laughs> so basically, a door in the roof. There's an old front entrance, and then there's a new front entrance, and then there's the skylight. And then there's a, uh, a like a, a another way in that I knew about kind of before everything flooded and stuff that I found. So, aside from the spirit itself, are there other people in this temple? Probably. I mean, it's a pretty popular spirit, and there's always people praying and sacrificing things. I get. I don't know. Sometimes you, there are, and sometimes there aren't. It just depends. Your best bet to miss people, I would assume, would be at night. It's also the best time not to see anything. I mean, you have torches, right? But it's underwater, isn't it? Oh, the the temple's not completely underwater. Oh. It's only. Partially flooded. Only like, well, only, it's only kind of flooded. Which like, kind? Better? Like, <laughs> like. <laughs> Andre um, says, the te you know, when I last came through here, the temple was just right on the shore. But that was before the flooding, so. Yeah, it's less on the shore now. Everybody just keeps pointing at the water whenever we ask where it is. I just assumed it was buried. Well, I mean, parts of it are underwater. Most of it is visible. What's this other way in that you discovered? Which one? The Under last one you mentioned. <laughs> so not the Fastest old main entrance, driest. the new main entrance, or the skylight? Yes. The other one? The other one. Um, well, it used to be right around the original water level, actually. 
um, but it's below the surface now. It's about 10 feet below the surface. It's uh, flooded about that high at this point. So it's like a, it's a tunnel. Um, mm -hmm. And it, it leads into the main chamber. Hmm. It seems like the most direct route if it leads right into the main chamber. Well, yeah, but do you really want to, like, come up right in the middle of the main chamber? What's your map say? Are we close to one of your purple blobs? Um, it... to, the, to the extent you can tell, it the circle seems centered around the center of the lake, which is quite a ways away. Hmm. But you also don't really know for sure that it's mm -hmm. at the center necessarily, but that seems plausible given that the, the these, these purple uh, areas of light on your magic map are supposedly, you know, honing in on this energy from the rifts, so mm -hmm. it seems likely that the center might be where the rift was. That's how it worked when you were looking for the one in the mines. If I point towards the purple blob and say, enhance, does it change? <laughs> no, see, the, uh, as there's no the, 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 the purple area of light becomes more precise, but the map itself doesn't zoom or anything, so. Oh, well, worth a shot. So, hmm. So to visit the temple, we don't know if this is what you folks well, need to do, but it seems like it's an important thing for these people to not do. Well, okay, so I shouldn't I have, have to a little... hold our breath too long, right? Well, we've got water breathing, though. It lasts 24 hours. Each cast lasts 24 hours. Mm. Okay, um, so there is a reason that I, I kind of do want to go now. Or not now, now, but I, I kind of want to wait for tonight. Mm. It's dark. Okay. Because I heard there might be ritual sacrifice happening tonight and if we can sneak inside then we can see what's actually happening and stop it and stop it who did it like it. well wait now we already saw one sacrifice and that didn't seem like it was going to stop in fact we kind of were part of it some of us were well hmm. <laughs> i still think we should check it out i i think that that that, that that's relevant so what do we need to do to secure the stuff so that we can you know Go when Callista suggests. So we'll go see what's on the raft and put it back in the vault. Yeah, the vault might be safe enough until the twins come take everything out. Should Archie take a rest? That's a and risk everybody else can go do have to take. We mm -hmm. can we can wait there. It'll be maybe a little bit drier, but no. The second floor, but <laughs> Yeah, you recall that the water yeah, was actually bad. deeper. That place was right closer to the lake and so the water on the first floor was deeper like two and a half three feet but uh the second floor is still dry right and then we can uh, keep an eye out for the twins and mm -hmm. make sure they don't take anything if we're gonna wait till night anyway yeah That's actually cool. yeah and i did cast my level four spell so i think i am gonna do something to arrest too so is right it, now it just... it's about 2 p.m okay so are we resting until the nightfall then? Yeah, I don't think we have anything else to do until then, right? We could wander around town and see what else is flooded. I get the impression that outsiders aren't really welcome here, so... Maybe they just I don't know us yet. I feel like that's a good thing. I feel <laughs> that's like... That's probably we're, why we're not dead. <laughs> yeah, I think we should, you know... It, I don't think we should explore necessarily. I think that whoever needs to rest should. Um... And, yeah, you, know, you can do what you want, but yeah, I'd like. But to if you find it. some of those candy bat wings, bring them back. Oh yes. <laughs> Sorry, candied what? Or lizard tails, <laughs> candied lizard tails. Yeah, apparently it's a delicacy. Some parts of the other parts of town, <laughs> the world, whatever. You adventurers and your exotic taste. They're good. <laughs> I know they're not. They're terrible. They're painful. <laughs> I, I, I will trust another elf's opinion on, on, on the elven palette, anyway. Yeah, you guys do recall they were pretty spicy. No, I want one. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go? 
Sure. Mm -hmm. Why not? All right. So you guys are headed um, back to uh, where you first met with Grodd, that that sort of base there. Uh, are yes. you bringing your your horses and the wagon and everything? Mm, the water's a lot deeper there, and I don't think we need the wagon, right? No, we don't need the wagon. Um, the horses will be safe here. Will they? Should be safe here. So oh, I was the asking halfling just gonna swim? Fair point. She's like, well, I, you know, I rode on Alaric's shoulders before, <laughs> which I don't know. I mean, I don't mind exactly, but I could I mean, cast water just... walk. <laughs> yeah, you, you could. I don't mind riding you riding on my shoulders, but it might be too deep for the both of us. Some places. Let me check the duration on that. It's one hour if it's the same as mine. <laughs> yeah, it should be the same yeah. spell. It's one hour. <laughs> Can we get there in an hour? I mean, it's, I don't know. Oh how yeah, it was it was only yeah. a few minutes. Yeah. And if we're gonna do a, uh, are we doing a long rest when we get there? Because I mean, if it's two, we're That'll probably gonna wait until at least ten, right? When oh. is nightfall? I don't know. Well, so this time of year, it would be getting dark at like uh, like seven. Yeah. Short but the rest. really good sacrifices never start until 10. <laughs> mm. The ones that are worth attending anyways. Mm -hmm. Nobody show shows up, up for a ritual sacrifice before 10. Everybody right. misses the opening. <laughs> so it's more of a stroke of midnight kind of thing. Yeah, the rest is just kind of for warm-ups and old people. Wait, is it a it's breast stroke of midnight? <laughs> so we're looking at a long rest then. Works for me. Because if we're looking at a long rest, I'll use my last level three spell slot and cast Water Walk, and then nobody will get wet. Nice. That rocks. Oh, a cover All sign. right. So, is that yeah, happening then? Ten. ten people, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. All I'm right. I'm so glad you're getting that one. <laughs> so, yeah, you, uh, you, you try out your, your Water Walk spell, and uh, while you guys are all up on the second floor, there's not any sort of immediate obvious effect because <laughs> there's no water up here. But <laughs> you spell. You feel the spell take hold. <laughs> feel my feet feel kind of tingly. So let's go check it out. Right. Yeah. So I as like you uh, descend down the stairs, uh, you know, as before, there was there's about six inches of water on the ground floor. But uh, as you go to step where your foot would start to uh, break the surface, you find what feels it's a little squishy, but you find that it will support your weight. And you can uh, you you can step across it, and it feels kind of like walking on thick grass. It gives a little bit under your feet, but it does support you, and you do not sink beneath the surface. Nice. Why didn't we do this a whole long time ago? <laughs> Saving spells, yo. <laughs> Andrew oh. says well, it might attract attention. <laughs> mm. I, I oh, think that uh, I think that ship has sailed. <laughs> 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 All right, you never so, know when you're going to need to be able to cast something else and save your energy. Um, you do, uh, you, you start making your way back towards the uh, Madrigal uh, Industries building, and you do uh, get a fair amount of stairs. Uh, people are watching you, watching this whole uh, troop of obvious outsiders just walking along on the surface of the water. Um, some of them actually look a little bit disgusted, like you're, you are they disapprove of how you're handling this but no one no one says anything the ones that seem like they have a little bit of a sour look they just kind of cluck their tongue and look away i think they're mad because we're not immersing ourselves in the spirit's holy dampness well, i am not a cleric of this place i don't care <laughs> Wait, does that mean you immerse yourself in the mountainside when you get a chance if you roll around on the bottom hills or something, or cavort on the top parts where the clouds are? Um, you know, uh, Nira, that actually some of the uh, more senior clerics uh, actually do have spells that allow them to merge with the stone. There, there's a, a... I wouldn't necessarily call it cavorting, but... <laughs> <laughs> there's a school of thought and magic <clears throat> that supports this, yes. Mm -hmm. Wait, there are schools? 
Damn Don't knock dirty. it till you've tried it. I'm not really that kind of elf. <laughs> so uh, you make your way. Um, it's only a few minutes. And in fact, it's faster going when you're not slogging through, you know, and having to wade through a couple of feet of water. You're able to just walk along the surface. You do make your way back to the building. And uh, at least from outside, uh, it seems seems empty you don't hear or see any sign of activity from from the ground i'll take a look uh just hang on folks and i'm gonna draw my dagger and sneak in okay go ahead and make a stealth check that is a 20 total okay uh you uh you cling to the shadows and you're, uh, you realize that this water walk spell actually is probably helping you out quite a bit because you're not sloshing through the water. You're able to just step uh, along the top. And uh, you make your way up the wooden stairs and into that same room where you had previously spoken with Grod the Half-Orc. Uh, and uh, it seems to be empty. You don't see or hear anyone. I'll take a quick room-by-room room room check just to make sure. So um, you have uh, verified that uh, everything except the locked vault is empty. Um, you haven't checked the locked vault yet. You do. You did take the key from Grod, but you. Uh, I don't know if you had it. No, I think it's. Uh, I didn't take it. I think I, I took think it. I had it. Oh, maybe. Did you have it? I don't remember. I think I took it. Oh yeah, that's right. We did talk to him. Didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we definitely, we took it, but Kiki, who's got the key? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Nira uh, was the one that took it. All right. Um, can I see them through the window? Let's yeah. see the folks downstairs, and I'll call down. You Looks like it's all empty. Yeah. Nobody home. The um, the raft was... Was it accessible from down here? Yeah, so the ground down? floor of this building had had a hole knocked in one of the walls. Mm -hmm. um, to make it big enough for this raft to be floated in and out. Uh, but right now it's tied up uh, at the foot of the stairs. Okay, so I'd like to check out what's on it. Uh, it has a couple of barrels and crates that seem to have uh, food and water skin rations. You know, like you know, traveling supplies. There's no magical items or... No, not on the Born raft. Food and water. Mm. Anywhere else? I guess. Do well, I investigate? I mean, not uh, not check. on the raft. Right. I'll go upstairs and uh, let's check out this vault. See what's in there. All right. I go with Nira. <laughs> so uh, the key is, you know, uh, it is the right key for the lock. The lock is sturdy, but not magical in any way. So you unlock it and open up this little vault. Uh, you know, wood with an iron door. And as before, there's a number of small little chests and crates and so on in there. But, uh, you know, nothing nothing looks out of place compared to when you last saw it opened. Oh, th these guys were sneaky. Just a second. I'm going to check for traps. Okay. Uh, what is that? Investigation? Um, well, you know, I've been... I, I would have said investigation, but I've been told recently that perception is actually the more accepted check. Oh, all right, I'm actually better at that. Uh, Twenty-three. Uh, yeah, there. Are, you're pretty confident there's no traps. All right, after you. They relied on the lock itself and just constant guarding. You know, that's what uh, that's what Grod told you before. But yeah, so you open it up. Uh, it looks, you know, pretty straightforward. And I'll go ahead and save you guys the time that what you find in there. Um, uh, amongst the various containers, you find 750 gold pieces and uh, gemstones collectively worth another 200 gold. Yeah, didn't have any money to pay us my ass. Yeah. Hmm. It verifies what, is, what he said. Just hoarding all the money to take off with it. So we can take the 500 now. Yeah, let's take the 500 now. If he doesn't come back. <laughs> Do you want to secure all of Madrigal's stuff here with the shell all in one place since this was so easy to get into? 
protect her interests since we're already doing so much. Mm. What stuff are we securing? Well, <laughs> I think we just close the vault and whatever happens, happens. All right, but you, <laughs> okay. you, you are taking out uh, 500 gold? Okay, where are yep. you putting it? <laughs> it's not going to fit that bag, is it? <laughs> uh, when you go to Should open up open the bag the of bag? holding, what you discover is that the, uh, the a side of the flail snail shell is pretty much blocking any access to the rest of the bag. <laughs> That's why I took my stuff out. <laughs> might want to grab the gems instead. They might be a little smaller, easier to carry. At least for 200. Yeah, the if you take the gems as a I mean, gems it's a little harder to say exact the exact value without right. taking them to an appraiser or a jeweler or something like that, but it's approximately you guys see gems enough to know that it's somewhere in that neighborhood. But yeah, certainly two hundred hey. gold worth of gems weighs a lot less than two hundred gold pieces. And, and we'll give Madrigal the change if it's if we took too much. Mm. <laughs> or you guys will for your for your booty. It's not like you're gonna keep the difference if you take too much. Well, the five hundred for yeah for the information, mm -hmm. not to do with the shell, but no. oh, yeah. that's right. <clears throat> oh yeah, I could put a couple hundred in my backpack. I bet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got it. All. I walk up and I grab an, as many of those little sparklies as I can fit in my pockets, so I can just all look right. at them later. <laughs> <laughs> Give me you all guys the load up your pockets. Uh, you're like yes. uh, you're like the kids in the when they first enter the the chocolate factory mm -hmm. in in Willy Wonka. That's just me. Stuff in your pockets. It's so pretty. They just or maybe sparkle Goonies so when much. They get into the treasure chamber. <laughs> yeah. Whose mouth? They look the like... gemstones in his mouth. <laughs> they look like stars. Or something like that. It's just so pretty. I gotta just take them with me. Do All I? Right. Do I take out my armor out of the bag or like? You did not. In? You did okay. not take it. Out. Uh... All right. Uh, I That's think right. only Nira mentioned that she took out her potion of flame breath, I think, and then that was... I don't yeah. even know if you even mentioned anything other than that. Yeah, it was the, the three potions that I had, I think. Oh, right, because, yeah. Because you, yeah. did ha you did have the potion of fire breathing from before, and then you found right. that box of Giant potions. Giant size and yeah. flying is left, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you had a scrap in there, too. I'll go ahead and no, grab No, because uh, Mugen used that. Oh, you're right. Yep, yep. Okay. Said. Okay, so you guys uh, take the gemstones. I'll go ahead and grab uh, 250 gold and put it in my backpack. All right. Uh, so you guys do that, and you uh, have got a relatively secured place right here. Uh, there's actually bunks because this is apparently where they were living. Uh, the bunks are not, you know, great, but would do. Yeah. So are Sweet. You, you're taking a long rest then? Yes. I'll take a watch. I don't know if anybody else is going to, but All right. Yeah, okay. we can we can do a rotation. Well, so if you do a rotation, it's gonna take longer than eight hours if everybody right. wants oh, really? to get the long rest. I feel like don't need a full rest, can do a short rest maybe. Yeah, I wanna get my spell Station. slots back. <laughs> yeah. Um, I won't be exhausted if I don't take a rest. No, I? no, no. If if you get some rest, I'll you you won't be exhausted. Yeah, I don't like if need if you were doing that a couple of days in a row or something, that would be one thing. But you guys slept fine the, this night before. Yeah. Excuse me. And Mira barely sleeps. And it's also like it's early. <laughs> like true. you wouldn't normally be going to sleep at two in the afternoon. Right. Yeah. 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 No, so I just have to keep watch the entire time then. All right. And they can take their rest. Okay. So yeah, um, you guys are Let's not see if disturbed. There's any other spells. Um, you know, there's definitely, you know, uh, the, you know, when you're on watch, you will occasionally hear people passing by outside. There's some, you know, hushed conversations. It's not quite loud enough to, you know, really overhear. But it's also was not one of the busier parts of town. But uh, slowly, you know, the the afternoon progresses. The sun goes down, um, and now you estimate that it is in the neighborhood of 10 o'clock and those of you who went down for the rest uh, have had a long rest actually i'm going to say it's 10 30 because uh you guys took some time getting over there and securing everything so it's now 10 30 you've got your long rest what's the plan okay so how do you guys <laughs> want to approach 
Personally, I would go directly for the main spaces, but... Mm. Do the folks in the temple wear robes or anything that we might conceal ourselves with? Mm, not um, really hanging out in town, you know that the people who are big into the, you know, the, the like, not just ordinary worshippers, but people who, like, work at the temple, that sort of thing, have these fancy robes they wear. But you think that they usually, like, they, they store those at the temple. Mm. Have I seen any dwarves around? Um, one or two. Like you know, there there's some, but it's mostly a human town. There's so you know a few that. other races sprinkled around, but not. Um, it's not exclusive, but it's probably still eighty percent human. So there won't be a the the invasion of the body snatchers. <laughs> if I just walk through town. No. All right. Although you guys, it seems like people recognize you as outsiders regardless. It's just... <laughs> we stand out. Yeah. I mean, we could try to sneak in. Or we could try to just go in. Everybody kept telling us to go to the temple anyway, didn't they? True, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, can, I mean, I can cast Pass Without a Trace on all of us. That lasts um, up to an hour. And we've still got... Well, okay, so if we have... Water walk is for 24 hours, right? Is that or I was think it water walk was just for an hour? Uh, one hour. Water breathing. Well, I think it was an hour, hours. yeah. Okay, so never mind. So that will have worn off. <laughs> so it's like, how are we going to get underwater? If we, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> if we can breathe, though, we can just walk around down there or we could swim. Yeah. I think we don't everybody's have to. encouraged to go to the temple. Yeah. Maybe we'll look more like we fit in if we actually can breathe underwater. Andre says, if they're Doesn't doing some weird sacrifice, though, I mean, are they going to just let us in to see that? That's kind of what I was worried about. Mm. That's so, why the flooded tunnel might be a better option, I think. Yeah. Is, yeah. So the skylight, is, is it open or do we have to break the glass or whatever? It's uh, literally like a tunnel? If it's still submerged. Um, there's, you know, um, you know, Kalisa, right. that it's, it's just open. It's not... It's not um, there's oh, no, yeah. there's no cover. It's it's open to the sky. Oh, and and we'd have Except to climb up to get in, right? Right. So there's a uh, the current entrance that most of the worshippers use is an old second floor balcony. Um, but with the rise of the water, it's pretty much at level with the lake now. So you can get mm. in from there through the main entrance and the doors. But there are also ladders there that go up to the roof. Oh. And so from the roof, you can look down through the skylight and see what's going on. So mm -hmm. those are two different ways to get in, I guess. And then there's the old main entrance, which is on the old first floor, and we'd have to go underwater to get there. But that would put us underwater and put us inside kind of in the old first floor gallery. Um, and then there's that side tunnel, but I think I mean, there used to be a gate. I don't know if there still is. Hmm. So it would be locked. Well, that's what shatter is for. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a little loud. It for certainly is. is. I can just pick the lock. I say we hit pass without a trace and take the quickest route in. I mean, is it really climbing if it's submerged? It's kind of swimming at that point, isn't it? And it shouldn't be too strenuous. Yeah. Is that does that seem like the most direct route? The tunnel. The yeah. side entrance is the one I mean, that goes into I've... the main chamber, isn't that what you said? Yeah. Right. So the side entrance um yeah. with the gate. Yeah, it's I would think we want to we would want to come out so of the gallery. Through, it goes on the lowest level of the ritual chamber, so we'll kind of pop up in the middle of the ritual. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, that, the gallery is surprise. the ideal. So we probably, if we don't want to uh, make a splash, we should right. probably go in at the current worshippers level or look up or look down through the skylight. Although we could go through and see the old gallery because there is... Uh, Last time I looked, when I was doing some of my own recon, before I tried to get Madrigal's people to help me 
look of what was happening. There was uh, about mm, about this much room at the ceiling of the old first level. So you could, we could go in at that first level and then look out from underneath the first gallery, but it would be a lot of swimming. So what do we and want we to get to out of this? Underwater. We want to see gal or we want to find out more about the temple? Well, you guys are looking for something there, right? And I want to mm -hmm. know what's going on and if it's something that I need to find extra help to stop. I think going through the gallery is the least conspicuous. The old one? The old gallery? Yeah, the yeah. you know, least... I'm leaning that way, too. Of being seen. So, okay, we would have to go underwater. Um, so maybe with a, a, an underwater breathing spell, and we can get out there and swim down to the old main entrance. Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Okay. All right, so you guys make your way down in the direction of the lake. Kalista, having been there before, can take you right there. You don't have to search for it. Um, but as you get, you know, closer down there to, you, you realize that what would have been on the shore of the lake before is, in fact, where the town stops, right? Like, the town is flooded, but the edge of it used to be on the edge of the lake. So you see that, and this temple is sort of just beyond where most of the other buildings stop and what you see out in the water um, and you know you're seeing this as the water is now about like five or six feet deep so um, if you guys are you know those of you who are not that tall are probably swimming at this point otherwise you're maybe kind of just walking along the bottom um, you're you're seeing almost kind of like a conical, slightly pyramidal shape, but with soft corners uh, that is sort of one story up above the surface of the water, but it's clear that the building is, you know, partially submerged. And so that's what you see sticking up outside. And you do see that on the right side of it is a wooden balcony that is just above the surface of the, the water. And so Kalista, that's you know, as you mentioned, that's the one that used to be the second floor balcony, but is now the way that most people access the temple. But you also know that that's along the right side as you approach it. But if you were to head just straight for it, go underwater, now just beneath the surface is what used to be the old front entrance. But you're, you know, the, the water is five or six feet deep here as you're approaching, but it'll be about 10 feet deep as you get to the building. Okay. All right. Are we able to say this, uh, to, to breathe this stuff yet? I don't think you've cast oh. the spell yet. Okay. So let me cast that spell then. Okay. So you Man. cast you cast water breathing and uh, and once again you know uh, with with you still above the surface you sort of you feel you know magical energy sort of shivering around your your uh, your mouth and your nose and your chest but uh, you know it's a uh, it's a little weird to try I guess mm -hmm. <laughs> if you haven't done it for the before but. Uh, uh, Andrew's kind of game is like, uh, well, I mean, you know, and she kind of ducks under the water and and you see just a couple of bubbles, but then comes back up like, hey, it works. I mean, not that I doubt it, but it's kind of cool. I just let myself sink. <laughs> it's faster. Yeah. Do the walk in. Um, something you're realizing, um, yeah, Ar uh, Archie, is that uh, the weight of your armor plus all those gold coins you took, um, you are definitely walking along the bottom. You are not very buoyant here. He's got yeah, the water like walking you, boots from Zelda. You can move, but as you start getting below 
you know, where it's above your head, <laughs> you are definitely awesome. walking along the bottom, not floating, not swimming. You that. could probably like jump and like sort of struggle your way to the surface if you tried. But generally speaking, you're walking along the bottom, whereas everyone else is kind of floating or swimming normally. <laughs> I'm all right with that. Can we hear each other? Uh, you when you when you try to speak, it's a little it's a little difficult to understand. Oh, great. <laughs> so as you as you're under the water, though, uh, it's a it little drops. murky, especially because it's dark. But you can kind of make out, you know, the shape of this front entrance and, and, a, and a dark door. Those of you who do have dark vision um, or your goggles, which I think is... Uh, do, you, do you have dark... Remind me, do you have dark vision, Kalista? Uh, As a half-elf? I, I don't remember. Sure. I think I do. I'm pretty sure I they I do. do have dark yeah. vision. Yeah. Um, I think, I think half-elves think... do have it. Yes, you do. Okay, good. So that means everybody can see, uh, which is handy. Um, uh, so, you know, those of you who don't naturally have dark vision now have your goggles of night seeing. Um, so do you guys want me to cast Pass Without a Trace? Because I haven't done that yet. We just did the water breathing. Are we already in the mix too much? Well, you've not, you've not made your way to the building yet. You can just see the, uh, you can, you can see the entrance, but you haven't gone inside yet. It, it lasts for an hour and it doesn't cost me a spell slot. So um, I'm there were, go for it. There were, as you were approaching, um, you saw a couple of people come out of that, you know, balcony entrance and get in a little rowboat and sail to, to shore. So you were kind of off to the side, but you did see some people coming out of that area. And cool. once we dunk our heads down below, anybody approaching that, that deeper entrance? Uh, you don't see anyone underwater. Hmm. I think right. pass without a trace would still be helpful if it doesn't yeah. cost you anything. So. Yeah, I'm gonna cast it. It's it's cantrippy. Okay. No, no. That's right. a plus ten to stealth <laughs> checks. <laughs> um, uh, Next turn. Nira, as you guys are approaching the front entrance, this is not actually super near you, but you do get a vague sense that somewhere, kind of off around the corner of the building to the left, you get the sense of something relatively big moving in the water but it's not really near you or coming your way but you just get a sense of something moving around over there fish that's unnerving mm -hmm. <laughs> i don't think that's a fish <laughs> i've heard this exotic dish from far off it's called sushi <laughs> i think you just right. grab the fish and take a bite out of it or something all right so as we um let me actually Let's. We've got a slightly different ambiance now for uh, for while you guys are under the water. As you pass inside, well, you know what? Actually, you cast past without trace. So let's have you make a stealth check, everybody. <laughs> My specialty. <laughs> oh. I lost my die. And also our usual modifier, right? Uh, well, yeah, your usual modifier and the plus 10 from the spell. <laughs> oh, good. That's my so, usual negative. Really good that you cast that because, uh, yeah. I have 16 That's why I was asked. with Pass Without a Trace. Okay. <laughs> Same here. 16. <laughs> pass Without a Trace adds what? 16 buddies. And we'll, uh... Oh, okay. 26. I'm good. <laughs> Get it, girl. <laughs> All right. So let me, uh, let's move, uh, move you to the map. So can I ask something before we go further? Because I'm a little confused. We talked about so many different entrances and stuff. Are we going to be submerged in water for the duration, do we think, team? Um, or? Likely. What did she say? Um, mm. what, she, what she said is that the what used to be the ground level now um, is pretty much completely submerged, except there's maybe six inches of air at the ceiling on that level. Okay. So I'm going to cast um, Conjure Animals because I've got an image in my mind i got to make happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm going to cast Conjure Animals, and um, the first thing I'm going to cast is a Hunter Shark. Okay. Which I believe is strong enough to carry Archie. Okay. 
in his armor. <laughs> Tiefling on a shark, man. I got it. <laughs> I think I, I like might actually have this. a hunter shark token, believe it or not. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> Check it out. I think it needs to be. Yay! Hunter shark token. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so you guys are now on the map. You can see I've got you entering here. So tell me kind of what order you're moving in here. Like... I figured I was kind of maybe bleeding. Okay. Um, so this is uh, this is Kalista, everybody. See how cute she is? <laughs> so cute. All right. We got Archie kind of riding this shark to keep him off the... <laughs> you're the you're just kind of holding on to the, onto the, uh, the dorsal the fin shark. and letting it pull you along. Is that what's going on here? Yeah. Okay. So does the rest of this look as you as you expect? Um, or you know, so again, this quick. is Andrea. I need to reprint that so it's not so dark. I mean, she's dark skin, but this... I want it to not be a silhouette. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. I keep interrupting. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm at my max CR rating. That I, if I can um, summon, I believe you can. I think hunter sharks are CR two. Yeah, and I think I can summon a three now, right? Up to three. Um, con well, so conjure. So bear in mind, your wild shape is not the same thing as your conjure animal spell. Totally. Oh, right. Um, yeah. So conjure, conjure animals. Oops. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's all right. Um, so your wild shape, you can do, I think, up to CR2 now. Conjure animals, you might be able to do more if it's at a higher level, but I will check right now. She's Circle of the Moon, which I think gives her a CR3 for Wild Shape, but I need to check that too. But I um, think that your level divided by three rounded um, down is what you can do. Okay. I thought it was divided by two rounded, but I'll, I'll yeah. You're the DM. Um, what, no, I mean, well, you, we can also check on your, on your, on your sheet. Um, so if you go to your, uh, your, your D&D Beyond thing, your, your mm -hmm. class features... Yes. Um, combat, wild shape. Um, let's see. Um, wild shape improvement. Um, let's see. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, circle forms feature says starting at sixth level, you can transform into a beast with a challenge oh, rating three. as high as your druid yeah. level divided by three rounded down. Okay. So, animals, so wild shapes too. Um, when you... So uh, when you're casting it at the regular level, you can do a beast of challenge rating two or lower, uh, you know, one of them or more of other, you know, less powerful ones. But you can do a higher level when you cast it with a higher level spell slot. You choose one of the summoning options above and more of that type of creature up here. So you still oh. can't do higher than CR2, but you could get right. more than one CR2, for example. Oh, that sounds fun. But I think it, I'm gonna, it looks uh, like sharks? to get two sharks, you would need a fifth level spell slot, though. That's what it says. Oh, oh poop, because that's a level three and it needs to go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, that's so, cool. Thank you for explaining. No problem. Oh, that sure. stuff gets a little wonky. So, okay. You've got your hunter shark, and by just sheer dumb coincidence, I happen to have a token made, so that's fun. Um, <laughs> But so what you guys see as you make your way in this front entrance is that it's just uh, kind of a front sort of foyer. Um, there's uh, an interesting mural showing just a lake scene that's now underwater. As, as I mentioned before, there's about six inches of air at the ceiling, um, but otherwise it's completely flooded. You see uh, a few little just bits and pieces of things floating around, mostly kind of decayed, you know, from being underwater. And then on the right and left sides of this room, there's a door on each side. Is the door unlocked on the right? Um, they, you, you try it and it is. Do we it's, need to go it this way? It sticks a little because the wood is sort of swollen, but it's not locked. Because there's no other door except for the one on the other side of the room, right? Yeah. When you open it, you see what looks like maybe it uh, it used to be a changing room. 
there's um, some sort of uh, worn, um, you know, waterlogged red robes there and a, and a bench. And you suspect it was, you know, a changing room before it was underwater. What color robe did that other guy have? The one that sacrificed blue. himself? Blue? Yeah, he had These a bright are, blue one. These are what color? Red. Red. I'll grab one and bring it back to the folks to, to show them what I found because apparently we're talking this so well. <laughs> um, we have a couple of people um, in in chat from uh, that came from a Reddit thread, I think. So uh, for for those of you who are here for that, uh, I'm I'm the DM, and uh, it is in fact. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to point uh, that guy right there, Chooch, who's the tiefling. He's the one with plate armor. On a shark. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Riding a I shark a, at the moment, yeah. It's an important part. Um, me. <laughs> and waited down by gold, yeah. also. <laughs> yes. He, on on top of the plate, he also just recently put two hundred and fifty gold pieces in his pack and pockets. So I'm kind of wondering why the shark <laughs> knowing where we were going. going. Yeah. Let's, let's not forget <laughs> yeah. that knowing. Yeah. So the rest Fully of you are kind of floating. He's walking along the bottom, but you can all breathe water at the moment through magic. Yeah, you got to do what so, you got to do. All right. So yeah, you got a five foot doorway here. Um, that goes into this little changing room. You see that to the north, there is another another doorway um, leading forward there. All right. Well, I do grab a couple of robes and show them to the rest of the folks. Look what I found. Mm -hmm. I told you there'd be some sort of thing in here. I mean, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Can I do <laughs> You can all kind of uh, <laughs> hop up the uh, above the surface and speak more easily if you if you want. <laughs> um, can I do a religion check because I know the robes that we saw before were blue and these are mm -hmm. red. So yeah. if I would know, yeah, the go, go ahead and make a check. Intelligence. You would think I would have these memorized by now. Uh, so that's a plus three. So. Um, 24. Uh, yeah, you are pretty sure that, so when he introduced himself, um, Estevan said that he was an initiate. Um, he was hoping to, you know, rise in the ranks of the worship mm -hmm. of, of the spirit and he was wearing the bright blue, um, and these are red. And so you suspect it might be like <clears throat> a rank thing. These do look a little uh, like the the others were very vibrant blue, but you know that this town also does dyes, so that's not necessarily a mark of it being expensive. Uh, but these look a little fancier. You suspect that these might be the higher rank colors. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! Red's my color. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Are you guys putting on the robes then? Is that the idea? I'll put one on. Sure. Okay. They're. Um, oh yeah. They're not in great shape, and you're putting them on underwater, which is a little awkward. <laughs> you're putting them on over armor underwater. Oh, cool. So you don't think you look great, but it might fool someone for a second. <laughs> um, yeah, so in any case, um, is everybody doing that? There are enough of them for everybody if you want to all have them. Totes. Um, Why not? Andre kind of says, uh, I don't think any of them are going to fit me. Poor little half. Kalista kind of goes, mm, nah. All right. Did you set one of the halflings? <laughs> um, so she the, tried. She tangled herself up in it. Um, <laughs> Amethyst, you realize pretty quickly uh, that this shark's going to have to squeeze to even fit through this door. It's going to be a little cool. Tight. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So if anybody wants like five bucks draw this for me <laughs> the tiefling on top squeezing into a doorway i'm in five, five chris dollar bill so right now as you're all trying to get into these robes this little changing room is pretty tight uh in there uh but you haven't you haven't opened that other door yet just realized that i set these things where they're obvious on camera <laughs> my, my little oh no, there's no enemies ahead no, definitely, no, not. Absolutely, not, not, definitely not i'm I was just suspecting down the paper. nothing yeah weighs down the paper yeah mm -hmm. you know just in case interference mm -hmm. for a random cat or something all right so are you checking that door or 
if everybody's done fussing yeah. with their clothes. Yeah, so we'll say everybody except uh, Kalista and Andri are wearing one of the robes now to greater or lesser over effect. The shark? Do I see any like fish or sea life or any little um, water animal? Not sea life, but lake life. Any yeah, critters there, that I can look at? There's um, there's little little fishies swimming around. Just little mm -hmm. little small fry things that you know wouldn't be much of a meal, but they're you know swimming around. There's so a couple in here. Do they? Can I check to see if they look like healthy and normal, or if they look like they're afflicted with some kind of a disease or anything from the purple? Make a nature check. Foggy. Yeah. With my modifier, that's a oh well, it's a fourteen. Yeah, um, they look healthy enough, but you can't recall ever seeing the species before. Hmm. Hmm. Cool. All right. All right. So, uh, you're heading in through that door. Is that the idea there? Let me move yeah. some of these. Uh... Cautiously open it up. All right. So, as you cautiously open it up, uh, you see that it is a, uh, a hallway that runs along the length here. Let me slide this on the camera a little bit. Um, and you see, kind of standing in that hallway, are three humanoid figures, but they, they each look kind of distorted in, in various ways. One of them has a strange wide mouth with really sharp teeth. One of them has all sorts of strange spines all over him. And another one, one of his arms is a big long tentacle. And they're kind of just standing there sort of just staring. Like they're not really looking at anything. They're just kind of standing there. As you're these, peeking through the door here. These Sorry, these, have these might have been the sacrifices. <laughs> what? Uh, I mean, what? they do have hoods. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. I'll pull the hood back, or hood over, I should say, so it's yeah. over my head. Okay. Um... I do kind of turn to the rest, Mark, you know, three of them up ahead, and uh, I'm going to slip into that hallway and see if I can sneak in. Okay. So, what color um, are their robes? <laughs> I'm going to have you make a stealth check. They're, they're not wearing robes. They're not wearing robes. So. Sexy. Um, what, as you kind of look around this <laughs> hallway, <laughs> in addition to going off this direction, you see that there it does go off this way, too, into what looks like a stairwell. Um, and then you see another door leading off on, on this side. Okay. Um, so make a stealth check as you move into the hallway here. Do I still have passed without a trace? Yep. As long as you're within, I think, 30 feet of, of uh, um, Amethyst. Checking. I think 30 so. feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that makes it a 20. Yeah. Uh, 24. Okay, yeah, so you, you sort of slip in into the hallway here, and these things don't seem to have noticed you. You're staying, I mean, it's still very dark in here, um, but they you have moved slowly and silently enough that they don't seem to have taken notice. Um, oh, oh let's arrange on that. Two, 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 two. One moment, please. Oh, shit, that's not much. Okay, um... Can I, are they looking in a particular direction? They're mostly staring in in this direction, but it's as best you can tell, like they're not. They don't seem. They're not all. They're all looking in approximately the same direction, but not like they're all looking at the same object. Can I see what they're looking at? Um, make a perception check. Probably not. Uh, that's an eight. So probably not. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of too shadowy. I mean, even with your dark vision, it's completely dark in here. So you're kind of only just seeing, you know, shapes. Okay. But it, it, they they look like they're looking at the wall, and they're not even necessarily all looking at the same spot on the wall. Mm, weird. Yeah, all they're right. weird. They're definitely weird. 
Your eight is good enough to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to take my dagger. Okay. And I want to throw it down to the other end of the hallway. I want to throw it silently and see if I like can distract past, them. Past them? Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead and, and make an attack roll. But we're mostly just looking to have it try to sail past them in the way that you're looking for. Okay. That one. Yeah, so oh. basically, you discover oh. you're, you're not used to doing this underwater mm -hmm. and it throws your aim off quite a bit and the the dagger kind of goes bonk very gently bumps into the shoulder of one of these things and it kind of i'm goes, gonna use my uh i'm gonna use my bonus to hide <laughs> all right so i'll duck around the corner maybe to hide <laughs> yeah mm, seems not a bad idea so go make make another stealth check uh 32 <laughs> 32 yeah i think um you you discover there's a perfect little niche here where you you know that you're you know and and it, you didn't have far to go mm -hmm. um you, you're you're pretty sure that it, it didn't like it noticed getting bonked <laughs> by your, your <laughs> slow moving dagger but um it uh, didn't uh it didn't make eye contact or anything so you're not you're you're pretty sure it didn't see you before you got hidden Okay, can I peek around the corner? Uh, yeah. Is everyone else just hanging <laughs> in the room here, or what's going on? Presumably I can't see what's going on, so I'm yeah. waiting for a high, a high sign. Yeah. Yeah. So can I? Can we just, like, look around and see, like, because I'm curious about the red and the blue, and, like, mm -hmm. if there's a way to identify if one of the colors is the sacrifices. And... Well, so if you want to say that you went and you just peeked in this other side, you see a mostly identical room, except it has blue robes in it. Um, and uh, But I'm going to say you have not opened this door, but you also, if you've got a peek into this hallway, you're you're pretty clear what the layout is of mm -hmm. these opening rooms here. Mm -hmm. I the blue robes like look more like the ones Estevan had. So mm -hmm. I'm partially curious what would happen if I cast water walk on those three creatures like they float <laughs> to the surface right I want, let, let me check that spell and see if you have to it, it might notify um, them that we're nearby <laughs> up to what 10 willing creatures ah yeah sorry you have, you have to accept mm -hmm. the blessing of the water walk. A beautiful thought, though. <laughs> that would have been it really fun. is. <laughs> so first convince them that it's a good idea. Then do it. <laughs> um, so definitely, um, any of you peeking through this door right now are gonna you're you're gonna have to. This one is more agitated now. It's paying attention. <laughs> Um, I kind of want to go back to the other door, but that'll leave. I I wouldn't have passed without a trace anymore. So. <laughs> Can I peek around the corner at him? Yep. Okay. Can I see my dagger? Yeah, it's on the floor. Okay. I'll uh, retract the dagger. Oh yeah, with your <laughs> back your, my hand. your special thingy. <laughs> Embarrassed. Yep. Also, it's a really so now nice you're dagger. fishing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, do, what do I see up above there? Like to the north of me. Okay, so what you see, um, looking in that direction, is stairs that climb up and above out of the out of the water. And you know from seeing the building outside that probably leads up to that outside balcony. Okay. I would like to. Um, but I can't see that hallway and that guy is up there. So I was I was thinking use use thaumaturgy to draw all three of them to the other side. You wanna do that? What's the range though? That was why I couldn't. Yeah. So I'll try to I'm gonna go over to this other door and open it just a crack. Okay. This one here? Yeah. Alright, make a make a stealth check. Again, uh, and I mean, you you maybe could have Amethyst come over with you while you do that, but like she can only she 
She can't get all can't. of you spread her out like this. So. Right. So uh, 19 with the pass without a trace if okay. she's... Yeah, you, you creak the door open the and you're able to be silent and they don't seem to have noticed you. Okay, so I'm going to check for, for like the opposite side of where I saw um, Alaric go. Um, and I'm going to use Thaumaturgy to create a distracting noise. <laughs> okay, what's the noise? Um, we'll do a, hey, like a you guys! <laughs> we'll do like a... We'll do like a uh, let me think. <laughs> Yo, over here! Um, hey, you guys! Yeah, we'll, we'll just hey, do you know, like some, some loud mean. bangs coming from that other direction. All right. Not like super loud, not <clears throat> like explosions. <clears throat> or and like somebody uh, the, the noise on something. really carries Flying. through the water too. Um, but uh, it's um, you see all of these things definitely react to the noise and start kind of wandering in this direction. Am I gonna, uh, I'm going to go back to my people. <laughs> Their right. vision is based on motion. Okay. <laughs> Making motions with my hand. Go, 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 go. <laughs> all right. So you guys are sneaking around? So, yep. All right. Um, what you realize um, now, uh, if you if you look back this way, and those of you coming into the hallway, is that um, it was obstructed from your line of sight here, but there is actually a narrow door right here. I didn't mean it to be a solid line on my map. It's a secret here. door. It's not a secret door. It's just a narrow door, um, and it was, uh -oh. you know, dark. I didn't. I didn't mean that to be a solid line. I'm there's Wild no way the shark's years. getting through that. Yeah. Um, it would have to squeeze. Squeeze. I would cast reduction, reduce size. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. So are you guys hurrying through this way? This thing, these things are moving through this way, but they're they're also, you know, you're gonna need to make another stealth check if you want to get by this way. I think if you're going this way, um, you you can probably just get by. Yeah. Uh, what are we doing? Are we going for the narrow door? Or are we going up? Um, which which way would Calista direct us to to not pop into the middle of the chamber? Yeah. So you know, Kalista, that mm -hmm. the stairs up go to the top of the gallery, which mm -hmm. slopes down, has the benches that observe the central chamber. Mm -hmm. If you go forward through the center here, you will emerge basically midway in vertically in this gallery so there will be more steps down to the main ritual chamber floor and also more seating going up to the the second level so you can basically go this way yeah pass by the outer entrance and emerge at the top of the stairs in this gallery mm -hmm. or you can emerge at the midpoint and see 10 feet of stairs down to the ritual chamber floor I kind of feel like going up is the way to go. Less observed. What do you guys think? Well, that's You'll where everybody's coming in and out, out of the water. Oh, that's where they're coming in and out. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So I, up, I point up toward the narrow door. No longer underwater. I right. point toward the narrow door. Okay. All right. And that's so, um, you're, everyone make a stealth check <laughs> as you are going, heading for this place. 20. Okay. Yeah. 11. Third. I got 30. <laughs> I'm so sneaky, y'all can't even see me. <laughs> 27. Okay. What What did you get, uh, RT? 11. 11. <laughs> you want to just wait for um, the shark to come through later? Um, so you guys are kind of all hustling through and ducking into this little tunnel here. The shark is kind of squeezing through this door to try to follow you. You're walking along, and um, uh, as... The shark's trying to follow you. It bumps into you, and you kind of stumble, and clung, 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 it makes a noise. And these things definitely turn around. But I rolled a 26. I hadn't gotten to tell you yet. Well, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, they definitely didn't see you. No, okay, but the shark. Okay, okay. Well, all right, shark. then uh, Then oh, Archie wait, just tripped wait. over his own dumb foot then. It wasn't the shark. Oh, no, wait. No, I, got, I meant Either to ask way. you before, though. Is That's the true. shark covered under Pass Without a Trace? Because I even, because uh, it might not yes. even be. I summoned it after. It is. Oh, I'm okay. I'm declaring that it is, but Archie's okay. roll insufficient, yeah. um, ah. and so these things did notice. I rolled a two. Yeah. Oh so, Jesus. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> Thanks, Archie. Um, 
So basically, these things did notice you as you're trying to hurry through. Um, you guys can try to push through and outrun them. They don't seem like they're very fast. Or what are you? What's the plan? They're definitely coming for you now, though. Crap. Are we in, the fact, hallway? in fact, let's go ahead and uh, roll initiative. Meanwhile, the shark turns and looks at me and rolls its eyes at Archie. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a question. Yeah. This doorway that we does it have a door that can close? Um, no. No. Just a passageway, though. Eight for me. Thirteen. Twenty-one. Mm. Yeah. Thirteen. Um, uh, what did you get, Archie? Nine. Nine. Still recovering from the trip. <laughs> yeah. Um, Nero was thirteen. Kalista? Uh, Nero was twenty-one. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Who was, was someone else thirteen? I was 13. Okay, there you go. Uh, Nero, 21. Um, Alaric? 18. 18. 18. And then um, Andre, <laughs> natural 20. <laughs> of course. Which actually makes her first. Um, and, uh, okay. So, uh, you guys are, um, yeah, sucks. <laughs> uh, Andre is kind of briefly just hesitates looking at the rest of you. He's like, are we trying to fight these things or run away? Uh, I don't know. You guys tell me. I, I don't want to fight them because need to fight. it'll draw attention to us. They might just follow us in there, though. <laughs> That oh, sweet. Go to fight them or go not to fight them. <laughs> Get inside. Go run. Go. Okay. Just go. <laughs> All right. So she um, she pushes further inside through this through this tunnel then and uh, you know disappears uh, through that that open tunnel um, on her turn. Okay, uh, Nira, you're up then. Um. Oh, uh, what was the sharks initiative? Uh, Amethyst. Oh, it was is. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> it's twenty. Twenty. Okay. <laughs> well, so um, twenty um it's means it'll go right after Nira. Then. Her element. Oh good. Okay. All right, well, Nira, are you fun. following Andre? Oh, yeah. Callista summoned a kitty. <laughs> I am going to follow Andre. Uh, one thing that we'll make clear as we're in initiative now, you guys, is that those of you without a swimming speed, which is basically everyone except Kalista, you're moving half your normal speed because you're swimming through water instead of just running. Weesh. All right, so making up that way. Uh, okay, it's the shark's turn, uh, Amethyst. Wait, what did Nira do? She went, went after uh, Andri. And um, you see that you, uh, you know what, let me make it clear where you guys, you've come out. You're actually right here, and you see that there's about 10 feet of stairs down to, sloping down to this big central chamber, um, where there's a well and an altar. Um, you don't see anybody in it. In Nobody there. in here. No. What was your initiative, Chooch? One more than yours. Oh, so you don't go right away. I was trying to, to figure out if the hunter shark stays as your mount or what. Oh, I'll be good. Okay. Because you're at half. <laughs> okay. Uh, this will be fun. <laughs> um, so the shark is going to. I'm going to indicate for the shark to follow Nira, but okay. to kind of stay. Um, you guys are kind of in the us. way. So it's, I mean, uh, it's going to have to kind of. Yeah, just have it move closer to us yeah, then, I guess. You. What And it's. <laughs> Swim speed is 40 yeah. feet. Yeah, so it, I, it yeah. can get in there really tight, but it, it's like it's squeezing through this little door and past you guys, yeah. and so it just barely gets in there. Okay. <laughs> I reach over and give her a little like pat. pat. Um, it's, 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 you pet it in the right direction, so it's very smooth. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I would know that. I'm a druid. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so... Uh, it's, if it's not attacking or anything this time, um, uh, that would make it, um, uh, 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 Alaric, you're up. 
Okay, so the inside is a passageway. That we're in an Whoa. Yeah, so, sorry. Ah. <laughs> that might be a little loud. Is it, is it loud? Yeah. Okay. Oh, is that better? Yeah? Better? Huh? It's very muffled. I'm trying to uh, well, check on the Okay, it yeah, I mean, you guys told me it was loud. I turned it down. I, I, don't, know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It came in very loud. It surprised me why really it was yeah. loud. I was surprised. Yeah. There was kind of a, a <laughs> sound at the beginning. All right, Alaric, what are you doing? Are you following the others? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, as soon as we get into that central chamber, it's then just mm -hmm. big open space. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so uh, you can to, kind uh, of, you're sort of shoving past everyone. Everyone, you, everyone is doing that thing right now where two people try to walk through a doorway at the same time and their shoulders get <laughs> stuck. You guys I'm, are I'm, definitely all like, we're oh, it up. Oh, I'm not, I'm not walking. I'm swimming. Okay, you're swimming kind of uh, um, over there. I'm gonna dash. All right. Classic us, you guys. All right, where are you? Where are you heading then? Uh, to the right. Okay, like like over here. Uh, not quite that far in. Just just rightward. Because in here it's all water, right? Uh, yes. Uh, so it is still the the surface level is the same as it was, um, in the other level. So you are entering the room kind of just below the surface. Okay. That's right. Um, and then it goes ten feet further down. Um, to you know, this this floor is one floor below where you were as as you go down these stairs, and then the stairs also go up and out of the water another level higher. So we saw people entering through that uh, upper balcony from the outside. Do you I saw see them people? Here? You saw people leaving that way. Oh, leaving. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, we're too late. Well, you don't you don't see anyone right now. Okay. All right, I'm just holding in. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, now, Kalista. Okay, I'm gonna... Is, is there room for me to swim through? Like, uh, I go above Yeah, them? in fact, because you have the swimming speed, you can go ahead and move at your normal pace. Are, are you heading to anywhere particular? Uh, just going in. Alright. Um, yeah. Alright. I, I actually check and see how transparent is the water. Um, right now, it's... I mean, it's a little murky, but it's uh, it's not. You know, I mean, you can you can see through well enough, but you know, given, since you're given, kind of above the well, you can see that it goes down and it's very dark down in there. Okay, given my expertise, does it mm. seem like people above would be able to see us? Uh, down make the water. Make an intelligence check. Okay. <laughs> Are you smart enough? No, I'm kidding. Uh, Seventeen. Um. There's a little bit of a ripple in the water that indicates there may be something that you're not seeing. So, like that could so wait could people above like in the in on the uh, in the so gallery above this whole yeah. area is all open. It is just three levels of seating above this floor with like stair like stone benches and then right. it goes straight up to the skylight and it's uh -huh. all open if there was anybody in this room at all they would be able to see everything okay through the murk of the water and stuff yes everything. yes all right well screw it yep i just swim in all right okay <laughs> okay um archie are you making your way clunk 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 along the bottom you're muted <laughs> I, I don't hear you right now. <laughs> okay, one second. You look so confused. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. We got a, a audio malfunction. Um, He's underwater. Let's all just swim How's around. That? Oh, yeah, there you are. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so... Um, hmm. <laughs> You're making your way yeah, in, yeah. I'm guessing? Yeah, yeah okay. make my way in. Clunk, clunk. Along the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, amethyst. You guys all outrolled. The, even with those low ones, you still outrolled these things. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna move inside the room. Um, all right. And what's what? You you have to finish your sentence. 
What is, who is that? Is that Alaric on the right of Nera? My right of Nera? Yeah. Yes, Alaric. Okay. This is I was Andry. like, does there a dude just stand in there watching? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you can kind of make your way in here. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I think that's um, all I'm going to do right now. Okay. And it is their turn, and they are definitely coming after you. And so this one is is going to attack you. Uh, Archie, this is the uh, poison spiny one. Um, and it, uh, it first tries to just beat at you with its, uh, with its arms. Um, let's see. Makes, that's a seven. A 17. Yes. And a five. So, yes. oh, so, okay. Technically, two of those were with its hands, and one is that it tried to sort of ram you with the poison spines on its head, but it looks like all, all three attacks were unable to penetrate your, your plate armor. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, got another one coming There's at no you. There's no door, right? It's just a Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's just an opening. There's no door to close. Okay. So uh, the second one's coming at you, and it's kind of doing the same thing. This is the one with the tentacle. So it's going to try to beat at you with its arm twice. A 10. Oh, that was actually 15. And an 11. So those both miss. And then it tries with the tentacle. The tentacle gets a 21. Yeah. Um, okay. And it does. Oops. Oh, the music suddenly. I kind of like this new the, that new version of the music there. Um, it does only three bludgeoning damage, but you are grappled. By this tentacle and wraps it around here and it's, it's got you grappled uh and then this one Grapple. um yeah actually it's it, you know, you're the only one that these things can all get to so it's going after you also <laughs> oh of all right course. this is the one with the, the like the sharp sharp teeth looking thing so 14 with and eight with its arms and then it's going to try to bite you 17 so you know that one is unable to connect with you either um, even though you're grappled actually grapple i keep i always forget do our attacks against you made with advantage when you're grappled? i always forget um hang on i i know that i can check this There we go. There's my tool tip. Um, no. So, yeah, you are not... It's not an advantage. It's just that your movement it's speed up. is becomes zero. And and that's all. Okay. Okay. So, that was their turn. Um, they're definitely attacking Archie now, you guys. So, um... Oh, it's on. Got grappled. So, um, is Andri's turn. Um, she is going to... Um, take her short sword uh, and and try to attack the uh, the tentacle one is the one that's grappling you and that's the one that's nearest to her so that's what she's attacking. Um, what's there? Yeah. I just realized I should, what I should have done on the short sword. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> you should have what? I should have done a hold action. I should have held an action for the shark. It just occurred to oh, me. Wow. I'm such a. <laughs> um, so it. Um, uh, so she, let's see, um, um, she does 15 points of damage to that one with her short sword, um, and you can see that she is underwater, she's using jabbing, like stabbing thrusts with the sword rather than trying to swing it. Um, and so she does 15 damage to that one. And it, it is wounded and... <laughs> Anger. Oops. Wubba la la. All right, uh, that is her turn. Um, Nira. So is it still grappling Archie? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
How much damage did he take? <laughs> he, um, he only took None. what? No, he oh, yeah, took bit. some from the one hit. Three. It was like, yeah, only three. three. So... Good. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if he saw what we were chatting in private, but... <laughs> So, since I'm so close, <laughs> I'm going to reach out with my shocking grasp cantrip. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Great in water. I was doing the same thing. I was thinking of doing the same thing. So, shocking grasp is what? Good. It, it, it makes right. a saving throw, or? Um, it is an attack spell, or a spell attack. Okay. It's target. All right, so. go ahead and roll your attack, then. Uh, As a bonus action, can I throw a good berry at Archie's face from here and just to throw a band-aid on what's about to happen? You, you try to hey, throw dude. it, and as soon as it leaves your fingers, it's just like... Aww. So that, that's <laughs> Water, a 17. Man. 17 hits. Um, so roll the, roll the damage. Uh, 11. 11. Um, okay, so it takes 11 lightning damage and uh, are you using your your knockback thing um yeah i think that'll yeah i can do that that mm -hmm. maybe that'll separate them yeah um <laughs> yeah so basically i'm gonna say that because it's underwater it only knocks back five feet instead of ten but it okay. does break the grapple that it had on, on archie um i'm gonna say that you underwater you take one lightning damage just as it came back from your own spell. Yeah. Saw that coming. So I look over at Nira and I say, Thanks, Nira. I'm really glad you didn't do that while he was still on the shark. Thanks, honey. That's <laughs> <laughs> my baby saying. All right. Yeah, so that one um, blasted back. It's it's not um, it's not destroyed, but it's it's pretty wounded at this point. Um, okay. Uh, it is the shark's turn. So the shark is going to just jam itself in the doorway to kind of block them from getting in. If it can do that without, like, nuz mm -hmm. like pushing yeah. Archie out. But, like, <laughs> getting between Archie and them and just, like, blocking them. It's, yeah, Archie's kind of in the narrow doorway right now. So um, it can't really quite get at them. I'll, I'll say that it can make a bite against this one, but Archie is currently in the doorway. Right. So, but can I just have it snarling at them, like, sure. fiercely you, you and want blocking it the doors to the others? <laughs> you can have it bite this one if you want. Yeah, yeah, and then it'll block the doorway so the other two can't push through. Well, Archie there. is blocking the doorway. Well, yeah, I know, but they got to push past my shark still. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, all right. So, um, it is attacking the spiny one. Um, yes. So have it make its attack. It if, if you don't have it up, I, I can tell you. I rolled a nine. Okay, so that so plus six would be uh, fifteen, and that does hit. Okay. So roll two d eight plus four piercing damage. Mm, seven. Seven. Um, okay, and in fact, um, what also happens though is that your shark takes. Uh, two piercing damage from biting this spiny thing. Uh -huh. um, and it needs to roll a uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. constitution saving throw. Ooh, 19. Uh, it is not poisoned. So Blood Frenzy is going to help me on future attack rolls, right? Uh, Since I did a little damage uh, against that other guy? Maybe. Uh, Blood Frenzy. Advantage on melee attack against any creature that doesn't have all its hit points. That's correct. Yeah. Cool. So, I mean, that, I already hit that this guy. That which... applies to two of the three things now. Cool. All right. So, uh, do, 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 do. that was the shark. Uh, Alaric, your turn. So, um, from you don't where have I line am, of sight on any of these things right now. Nope, but I can see the other bleachers, right? Yeah. And are the back of the bleachers open to that second floor? Um, it's... So... These are stone bleachers. There's no gaps. There's no behind or under. They're just, you know, it's like stairs. So there's no entrance. What you see, you just came, you came through a tunnel at the mid level right here. Mm -hmm. You can see that on this side, there's a, there's an opening on the bottom level. And then up here, you see that there's a landing at the top of the stairs. So it is open back there. Yes. Oh, excellent. Um, can I move 
I'm out of the water in front of in front mm -hmm. of me. Yep. Uh, and basically, I'm going to dash to run all the way around to that uh, down the bottom of the stairs. Okay, wh where are you trying to go? Like so over if here? I move up out of the water, I'm no longer at uh, running at half speed, right? Yes. So I can move to the Six bottom squares. of the screen uh, to get on top of the solid, solid dry ground. Okay, yeah, so you're on ground here, but where are you okay. going? Uh, from there, I'm saying south is the bottom of the screen. Down yes, to but that, that is that screen. is back down the staircase from here. So you're you you're leaving the room. You you can go around the outside if that's what you're doing. But you're well, going back. I can't into the get water. all the way around, but I get to the cover right there, I right? Yes, yes. So, but you're back in the water now. Sure. Uh, can yeah. I get all the way to the, where I can see them? I'll say you can try to make a ranged attack against that one if you want. Not what I'm doing first, but if I okay. can see one. Yep. Um, yeah, the spiny one's the good one. Yeah. I cast True Strike on the spiny okay. one. Sweet. True Strike. It is True Strike. Okay, and that's the end of my turn. Okay. Um, uh, I'll be down. honest, for a minute there, I thought we had a flashback to a Mugen moment where Mugen <laughs> would just, like, take off as soon as yeah. something <laughs> would happen. Mugen right. was out the Calista, door. What are what are you doing? These guys are, are trying to fight off these things. Uh, in that narrow hallway, but you don't really have line of sight on any of them. Right, I think I'm gonna hold action till the end so of the round. If you see one. Yeah. Okay. See what happens. Yep. Uh, all right, Archie, you still got two of these in your melee range. Well, so. I would, do I would disengage. Yeah. And move back to the door. All right. You can move to like here. Mm -hmm. Going down the stairs a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Because whereas, uh, whereas like Kalista and Amethyst could be floating at more or less surface level here, you would be descending the stairs, walking along the bottom, about ten feet below, below the surface. Just like Link, I don't think we have time. Yeah. Iron boots. So and I'll hold my action, so if they come through the door, I will swipe my sword at them. All right. Um, so you used your disengage, right? So that means Correct. no no help. Oh, right, action. right, right. Yeah. Right. But okay, but you have now cleared the way that the shark can take over door blocking duty. Um. All right. Uh, Amethyst. Okay. So. There's I'm not really sure. There's still one that you can kind of see through the doorway here, but the others are yeah. right behind it. Um. <laughs> oh, shoot. I don't know, man. Poison spray seems dangerous in water. <laughs> what do you guys think? Ha ha ha. I'm not going to make you breathe water. Breathe poison. Because um, it wouldn't act like it does in air. It would disperse in the water, right? I, I'm sorry. I was just distracted. Um, there's, uh, uh, there's, there's some good stuff in the in the in the chat with some folks there. And uh, just raising the question of getting um, an overlay where people's names are uh, under the avatars. I think that's a good idea too. But I haven't kind of put that together. Uh, I'm, I'm not like Geek and Sundry where I have producers that can do all that stuff for me. <laughs> but uh, it's a good idea though. You'd like to volunteer to be a producer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Um, so you can hold an action or something if you want. I mean, but uh, got got to do something. We're moving along. These things are attacking. Which, of course, makes my brain go at half speed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you oh, still I'm have kidding. like entangle that you could cast in the doorway to keep them from getting through? No, I don't have. Oh, you know what I do have. This could be fun. Yeah. Um, Wall of Thorns. Oh, I don't know yeah. if we want to use it here, but um, yeah, Wall of Thorn appears within range on a solid surface, lasts the duration for up to ten minutes, according to okay. this. Five feet thick, a circle that has twenty foot diameter, um, or a circle that has twenty foot diameter up to twenty feet high, five feet thick, blocks the line of sight. The creatures within the area must make a dexterity saving throw. Wall, yeah, let's Wall do that. Wall of Thorns is yes. 
Yeah, it was something that I got from the staff when you Oh, that's uh, right. Converted. Yeah, your yes. staff of Lynn and Mara. I was going to say, because yeah. ordinarily that would be too high a level for you to uh, cast on your own. But the staff can yeah. do it. Yeah, oh, it's right. a level six, so, guys. We went to D and D Beyond. My staff of Lenamara <laughs> got an upgrade; it leveled with me, and so yeah. I got some new stuff. And Wall of Thorns is one of them. Yeah. All right. So you're casting Wall of Thorns in the hallway there to get those three things, presumably. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just when the wall appears, kind of... each creature in its area makes a Dexterity saving throw. Right. All right. So that's three saving throws for these things, which I, they're not super dexterous. Let's see. Uh, oh gosh. Uh, what are they trying to beat? It's your, your should be your. Actually, I don't remember if it, if the staff. Doesn't say on that. I, I'm. Well, let's assume it's your DC. Okay. Yes. Should be the same number by any of your other spells. Four. I think it's fourteen. Is that right? That sounds right. Um, well, my character sheet says so. Yeah. Uh, all three of these things fail. So go ahead and roll <gasps> seven d8. Seven d8, guys. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. They gon' die. They gon' spread the now. Yeah, that's uh, as these um, these dark, slimy, seaweedy-looking uh, thorny branches start. <laughs> um, you know, uh, amethyst staff of of Lenamara, uh shoots out this powerful spell, and these thorny branches envelop the hallway here, uh, encompassing those three things. 39 points of damage. 39. They are all... You see these spines just wrap around them, pierce them. They're all dead. Yay. All right. Yes. So we're no longer in initiative. Uh, you have you have killed the three sea spawn with your wall of thorns. I love my plants. <laughs> I'm gonna swim up to the surface then. Okay. So, are the rest of you coming into this main chamber then? I kind of want to hide the bodies. Uh, you need to get through the. Right now, the they're still part. kind of. Unless you want to drop concentration, uh, amethyst, you can at any time, <laughs> or you can hold those thorns where they are for up to ten minutes. Do we want to have 10 minutes to explore here or do we want to clear the space? You guys, any preferences? Cause I can make this go away. <laughs> um, I don't let's say, our, uh, let's keep our, that, that entrance blocked of new energy. Okay. And then we'll grab them when that. Yeah, so those things are still kind of all wrapped up and, and held in place by the thorns. Okay. So are you all kind of, gathering yeah. in the center here then i'm gonna stay mm -hmm. up top and try to just sort of hide like up, up there. here yeah okay yeah i i'm gonna swim over to the wall and uh cast spider climb okay i want to get above the water and look so all right i'm gonna be kind of like climbing i'm gonna climb up the wall a little bit all right like like over here is there somewhere around the perimeter of this place that you want to be uh Not in particular, no. Just, okay, so uh, we'll say you're up on the wall, like here. Yeah, I just want to get like a, a view from above. What is the um, what does the well look like? Right now, uh, it's it's dark. You know that right. it when before the flooding, mm -hmm. the the level of the lake was such that it was basically just filled that well, and it but that well descends deep into okay. so the I, lake and so right now the water just continues but it also has risen to fill the rest of the room so it looks it looks okay. dark down there you know that it goes deep down in that direction okay but, so in the middle do you guys see the well that used to be the that used to be the bottom of the temple so the well used to be like the highest part there and the water goes really really deep i don't know where everybody is here but is that what we're looking at? Are you guys looking down the well? Yeah. Okay. I want to investigate that a little bit. Balconies. Yeah. Make a uh, make an investigation check. Um, and Nira, you can make a religion check as well. Uh, I'm just going to watch the entrance and see if anybody's coming in. All right. 
So for investigation, I rolled a 15. Okay. Um, you can see that it goes down very deep. In fact, deeper than you would have guessed, given how close to the shore you still are and how close to the shore it would have been, it descends farther than you can see, straight down. Um, you suspect that this is probably, you know, with the original temple design, was designed to be like where offerings would be given to the lake, so to speak, and where any gift from the lake might come up through there as well. That's what you gather that the purpose of that would be. There's also a stone altar uh, right here. That's going to be my next stop. Yeah. Well, so as you guys, well, so you, go ahead and make an investigation check for that then. Um, mm, I think I might do better with a religion check. Okay. Oh yeah. Religion. Yeah. That's fine. So 16. Um, this is definitely an altar made for uh, sacrificing uh, perhaps live things. Does um, it look stained and used? I mean, right now it's submerged. Um, right. So <laughs> it's, it's wet. It's submerged <laughs> and it's made of dark stone. Um, it's hard to tell. <laughs> okay. Um, but as you guys are kind of looking around, suddenly you guys... Um, hear a voice and it's, it's a man's voice and it says, well, Kalista, what have you brought for us today? Oh, God. Or warriors, my lord. Mother. (laughs) It was the cute one, Suckerman. I cast Dispel Magic on their water breathing. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, all right. <laughs> uh, well, okay, is that so a concentration guess, spell um, or is that because uh, you might have to target um, each individual? No, it targets the spell. Water breathing. Uh, water breathing Ooh, is not now. a concentration is spell. You see, the DC is 10 plus the spell's level, so that was a third level spell and I rolled a 16 suddenly yeah the water breathing spell that had been going is uh, is no longer going and everyone else is kind of able to float to the surface but Archie you're kind of now still (laughs) down on the bottom I cast true strike on her (laughs) (laughs) um, I cast mage armor on me (laughs) okay well all right, a lot of things are happening now so we're going to go ahead and roll initiative so yes. that uh, that yes, dispelling please. their water breathing is a surprise round. Now we're rolling initiative. Sixteen. Damn. <laughs> God dang. Seventeen. <laughs> so much for friends. Nineteen. <laughs> I thought we had a connection. Um, who got nineteen? We'll always have the library. Yeah. <laughs> I have a connection, all right. The end of my dagger. Uh, amethyst. Um, sorry, I'm still like, what the fuck? Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's still reeling from betrayal. Sure. What the fuck? You know, All I right. should have listened to my mother. They always said, you know, <laughs> don't trust those ha- half elves. You know, they they're trouble. <laughs> oh, you're gonna make this a half elf thing, are you? <laughs> well, <laughs> prove me wrong. You're only gonna be half an elf when this is finished. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eleven. Oh, is that for that's for amethyst? Roll one that's, for your. Oh yeah, too. that's amethyst. And the down and the shark. Um, six. How Jesus. how big is the the inside and of this the... temple, like tall wise? Um, it so from the base of this floor up to the skylight is mm-hmm. forty feet. It is thirty feet from the surface of the water up to the skylight. Um, the hang on. Okay, and then Andre gets. Ooh, roll. That's low for Andre. I don't want to kill Lauren. <laughs> oh, she's I'm gonna. gonna. Die. <laughs> I don't want right, to. So, gonna. um, <laughs> so, um, the water breathing has been dispelled. Um, and Kalista is also first in the initiative order. Great. What's up, guys? Of course. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. What? <laughs> All right, so me. 
What's first? So, <laughs> um, hmm. let's see. Um. <laughs> Bring it. Mm, yeah, I'm just trying to decide. Okay, um, yes. So, Mark, what's your character's name? Alaric. Alaric. Yeah. Alaric. Okay, That's him right see. there on the landing. On the landing. Yeah. Where? Right here. Where? Uh, I can't see that part of my screen. I think. Oh, I mean, I. It's. I. I'm. I'm pointing at the map. I can't show you any other way. If you can't see I know, that I think part my, of the my, map, I, my screen doesn't my screen doesn't like give me the whole map. I don't think. Okay. You can reshape it. It should be. Yeah, able to move your on. yeah move your window around, reshape it or something, because. Uh, I, I, well, okay, on on your iPad, he's on the landing. Functionality. I, I, you can you he's have line of sight. I mean, if you can't see that part of the map, I don't know what to tell you, but you can. He's you've got line of it's sight. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. He is more than thirty I, feet I, away, though. I find it hilarious that you have line of sight and you can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty funny. Um, he's just outside of thirty range, uh, thirty feet though. It's third, like thirty. I was feet. saying that I was hiding. I don't know if that counts from them, but. I don't. Yeah, I don't think you were hiding from her. This was a yeah. surprise round. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So, I. <laughs> oh, where's my uh? Um, all right. I'm going to cast Ray of Sickness. Ray of Sickness. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is that a that's a ranged spell attack? I think? It's a ranged spell attack, sixty feet. Right. Um, oh, that's, let me get that roar out of the way. That's, I don't want that one. So, that, uh, well, let's see. That would be a 15. <laughs> that's against uh, your armor class? Yeah, the media. Yeah. yeah. That hits. Alright. Okay, then it's 2d8 of damage. What kind of damage? Um, poisoning damage. Uh, he is Sweet. a dwarf, so um, resistant to poison damage. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, I tried. So yeah. anyway, so he doesn't, but he does get fourteen points of poison damage. So it was that was the two d eight was fourteen. So he'll take yep. half that because he's resistant. Um, is there any other effect to that spell, or is it just the, uh... Uh, it says... So if I, he might be poisoned or something like that? Must make a, uh, so, uh... So must make a constitution poison. saving throw. On a failed save, it's also poisoned until the end of your next turn. Okay, okay. so I, I think he poison. does have an advantage on that, but does have to make the roll. Uh, 22. Okay, yeah, that's probably gonna... So, not poisoned, yeah. but you take some of that poison damage. Yep. All right. Um, what happens next uh, is a second you guys are all disoriented because this weird ripple that was pretty much indistinguishable from the movement of the water suddenly seems to pass across like a door and all of a sudden you see that there are cultists in blue uh, robes standing all around the perimeter and one in a red robe here that are suddenly now revealed. Oh. <laughs> uh, the one in the red robe nods to you like. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I gave him the cool nod back. <laughs> so. Archie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I'm assuming my movement is halved. Um, it is halved, and you are currently unable to breathe. You are holding your breath. Yes. So I'm gonna make a beeline <laughs> straight to my right. Yes. Okay. Out of the water. I'm gonna say that's as far as you can get, but you can just break the surface to where you're, you know, able to get a breath. But you're also now right in the face of this um, cultist. It's like use a, a bonus action cast Shield of Faith on myself. Okay. And attack this cultist. Alright. 
Make your attack. <clears throat> First is a uh, so long sword. First attack's a fourteen. Uh, fourteen hits. Sweet. Oh, eight points of damage. Okay. You've done this guy a pretty substantial wound, but he is not dead. He's, he, he takes the blow and he's bleeding a lot, but he's on his feet. And, he, and he's got a mania in his eyes. And in fact, now that you're up in his face, you see that his skin has a slightly slimy, translucent look to it. Mm. Well, I'm going to take a second attack against All right. him. Yep. <laughs> Fourteen. All right, that hits. Four. Uh, Eleven points of damage. Yep, he's dead. He killed that guy. All right. Yeah. So you 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 run him through with your sword. Uh, all right. Uh, Nira. So I have a question. Yeah. What? Would it be the approximate size of a creature that's considered huge? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, so that's a loaded question. <laughs> An elephant, dragon, um, usually. I would say like fifteen feet tall. Okay. So, say if I were to take my potion of giant size. Let me double check what that, what that, um, the actual description of that does. Because remember, it says you... I have it pulled up. You look thirsty. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> it says when you drink this potion, you become huge for twenty-four hours. <laughs> if you are wow. medium or smaller. Otherwise, the potion does nothing. For that duration, your strength becomes 25 if it isn't already higher, and your hit point maximum is doubled. Your current hit points are doubled when you drink the potion. <laughs> wow. In She's addition, the, big guy, Kalista. <laughs> <laughs> the reach of your melee attacks increases by five feet. So. Yeah, so, you, okay. Yeah. yeah, you are now like, uh, like, like 15, 16 feet tall. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use... Um, uh, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna give you a new token that reflects <laughs> your new size. She gets the big girl mm. token now. So, hey, everybody, um, tell her she's in the way yeah, from Nira. time to time. <laughs> and now Nira. <laughs> Drinking the potion is an action, though, so that's your turn. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> All right, yep. so um, everyone has just <laughs> seen. Displaced water now. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Nira is huge now. <laughs> you're is not happy. Kind of through, the, <laughs> through the looking glass, you, last time you're small, now you're big. Giant woman. Giant woman. Amethyst, you're up. Now I just want to hear the song, though. <laughs> um, <laughs> has dear sweet Callista taken any damage yet? No. No. So I'm going to cast Confusion on her. Okay. Um, um, are those guys still in the vines? Uh, yeah, they're dead, though. Oh, they, oh. Yeah, I left their, oh, their yeah, corpses totally there, dead. but they're dead. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Alright, Confusion? Yeah. Yep, she has to succeed a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Is she by herself? I can't tell where she is. She's up here. Yeah, oh, she, so that would get the guy. She used spider climb, so she's up on the wall. So this affects uh, each creature in a 10-foot radius sphere centered on... Um, I'm gonna... She is up on the wall vertically, uh -huh. so I'm going to say she's not within 10 feet of this guy. Oh, so okay. Got it. Yeah, right. It's a, the, so, like, if they were on the same level, they would be, but she's gotcha. up on the wall. That's fair. I'm going to hit that bitch, though. I mean, I All love right. you, Lauren, but... <laughs> <laughs> Hate the sun, love the center. <laughs> yep. Okay, that's a constitution saving throw, you said? Wisdom. Uh, wisdom. A wisdom saving throw. Okay. I think you're trying, looking for 14. 17. All right. Oh, shit. Your, your, your spell does not take hold, uh, Amethyst. I'm wise. <laughs> that's too bad. It would have been really fun. That, was, that, that I wasn't expecting that. That would have... Yeah. <laughs> 
All right. Um, so. Uh, do, 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 do. Why am I on a wall? <laughs> <laughs> Look how high I'm I can climb. Love it. Okay. Um, it is now the the cult leader's turn. And he's going to turn to you, Archie, and cast Hold Person. Oh. Motherfucker. <laughs> And he is going to, so that you need to do a wisdom saving throw. A wisdom. Ten. Uh, you suddenly find magic freezing your joints, and you are now held in place. You can't move. <laughs> Exciting, because he's still like in the water. <laughs> well, he his head is above the surface. So he, he is he is not unable to breathe at the moment. However, he is paralyzed uh, for the moment. Uh, and then let's see. Um, and then, um, using his bonus action, he uh, summons a, a spectral trident uh, that appears. Let's let's make a little token for spectral trident. He's casting spiritual weapon. Okay, spiritual weapon. So, <laughs> cast with a bonus action. When you cast the spell, and make a melee attack. While you are paralyzed, um, I believe, um, attacks. Um, I am watching, Church. Uh, sure me too. <laughs> yep, we're waiting. <laughs> uh, it is an automatic critical hit because you are paralyzed. Although if he takes damage, he gets to make another save. Um, <laughs> yes, probably. Um, double checking. Um, at the end of each of its turns, it makes. Oh, it's not with damage. Oh, that's right. Yeah. They changed that. Yeah. So, um, spiritual it's weapon. Pretty funny. Um. <laughs> okay, so it is going to be 1d8 plus 3. The chat Eight. is super so fun tonight, you you're, guys. You're, you're taking um, 11, um, 11 piercing damage. Oh, no, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, 12. Uh, 12 piercing damage from this spectral trident summoned by this cult leader. Here. Nice. Uh, all oh. right. Um, it is Andri's turn. I, uh, um, she is gonna swim over to this guy is here. within 60 feet of me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So within 60 feet, my reaction, can you I... can't so take reactions, reaction, you are paralyzed. Okay. I know I couldn't move, but, you know, it's magic and stuff. Paralyzed. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Move along. Sorry, Nothing when paralyzed, you cannot take actions or reactions. <laughs> um... All right, Andri is going after this guy right here with her short sword. She's climbed up out of the water to do it. One hits, one the uh, one doesn't. Uh, yeah, she kills that guy. Yay! My favorite apple. <laughs> ha! And she she uh, she turns and points her sword at you, police, and says, "I don't like you anymore." <laughs> Strong words. Uh oh. Um, all right, it is, it, is the shark, it is the shark's turn now, uh, Amethyst. Oh, okay. Um, oh, dun, dun, dun. I mean, there's not really any combatants dun, 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 currently dun, 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 dun. in the water. But um, you can have it hold an action if you want. I'm going to have uh, the shark. Um, I'm sorry, I was. I thought my. I, no, I forgot about the shark turn completely. <laughs> um, I'm going to have the shark try to get around Nera, but she's so big, it's hard. But I'm kidding. No, I just wanted to say that because she's always bitching about my animals being too big. So I'm going to have the shark swim over to Archie. I thought the music stopped, and... but it's because I took the Huh? Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, go I'm going to have I'm the sorry. shark swim over to Archie and... Um, lift him up to make sure he's out of the water since he can't move. Well, right, yeah, so his head is above the surface, but it can, like, shove him if you want. Yeah, let's shove, shove him, him further <laughs> out of the water. 
Yeah, okay. let's shove him. Have it, have it make um, an athletics or a strength check. Probably a gentle living nudge from strength. a hunter shark. Make a strength check. 14 plus... Yeah. Was That's, it dexterity, you said? It's strength, but yeah, that'll do it. So, yeah, right. um, Archie, you still paralyzed get goosed by a shark. Uh, <laughs> knocks you up. You kind of spill forward onto the stairs out of the water now. Druids are so fun. <laughs> um, all right. It is now all the rest of these cultists, the remaining three that are not, you know, dead. Um, they're uh, alarmed by your size, Nira, but they're... Yeah. Um... They're actually going to try to give you a wide berth. <laughs> um, Fair. <laughs> oh, you know what? There should be one more. I had two of these stuck together. So there should be three. Yeah, three of these guys in the blue robes. So this one is going to come over here and, and attack Andri. Uh, and it does hit her. Only for ooh, seven, seven slashing damage with its scimitar. Yeah. Um, so she takes seven damage. Okay. Um, this one is going to dash over to try to gang up, but uh, he can get to here, but not, um, but not attack. This guy is going around this way, dashing to get up next to you, uh, Archie. But again, can't attack this round. Right home. Okay. Um, Kalista, you're up again. Hang on now. Okay. Oh, I'm Do sorry. I get a turn? Um, when, what was your What was your initiative? I didn't write 12. it down. I guess twelve. Okay. I'm sorry. You should have gone in the middle there. But we'll okay. we'll do it now and get you in the right spot next time. Um, so go ahead and do your turn first, then. Okay. Um, I can move five squares. So if I got that correctly, I can move to the leader without passing by the blue guy. By yeah. basically dodging yeah. right and then moving up and then dodging left again. Yeah. Yeah, I'll say you can do that. <clears throat> okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And with that, my shiny dagger, I stab at thee. All right. Uh, <laughs> that is a 23 to hit. That hits. Oh, happy dagger. For seven points of damage. Okay, seven points of damage from this guy, and he's going to make a concentration check. Um, which he succeeds. Okay, I'll hit it again for another 26 to hit. Oh, yeah, that hit it again. This time, uh, eight points of damage. Okay. Um, all right. The makes another con concentration check. Wow, he rolled really high on both of those, so uh, the whole person is maintained, but he does okay. take both of those. Uh, I burn my action search. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh, 24 to hit. Okay, yeah, that hits. And nine <laughs> points of damage. Nine points of damage. Okay, first let's... Yep. So he does maintain concentration, but he's he's looking pretty okay. pretty sickly now. I hit with the twenty-five. Yeah. And I do seven more points of damage. He's really wounded, but not dead, and so it's ten or the amount of damage, whichever's higher, correct? Ten or half the damage. Half. Higher. Okay. Well, he so he does drop it. So Archie, you are no longer paralyzed. You feel that the whole Ooh. person spell. This guy is oh, very yeah. wounded, but not uh, not dead. Um, LR. Okay. And uh, let's see. Um, let's just check something. I don't Real think quick. action surge counts as a bonus action. If that's what you're. Looking no, it doesn't. For. Um, yeah. I will. You know what I just realized, actually? Um, 
the, this spiritual weapon disappears. Technically speaking, I shouldn't have been able to have him do both of those at once. My apologies. My bad there. I don't uh, think so. No, no, that, you're right, you're right. So it's not concentration. It's, never mind. So, yeah, that's, that is still there. And, uh... But for my bonus action, I just do the sort of like I see you to uh, to the uh, to the the traitor half of <laughs> kind of stabbing him, but looking at you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> when I hear him, I All right. So, Kalista, it is you. your it is your turn now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. I am. A lark is about to kill this leader here. Yeah, I see that. But also, <laughs> Nira is a giant. <laughs> Nira's pretty giant. Um, uh, yeah. Priorities. Yeah, Nira's pretty giant. So I am going to. Misty step, go appear like at Nira's back. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna use vampiric touch. Okay. So Which... that is that's a, is that a melee spell attack? Uh, it, it it is. Um. So let's see. I rolled a nineteen. So that's a twenty-six. All the <laughs> okay. So um, so that's uh three d six necrotic damage. Mhm. Mm yep. Okay. Um and uh and Nira, you feel like this touch, almost like her hand somehow pierced your flesh. And it's pulling energy out of you. Um, I was eleven. Eleven. And so I don't think you've taken any damage yet, right? But um, I had Kalista. the one point of I damage. Asking, oh, Kalista her. hasn't taken any damage yet. No. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So you are also you, you used your misty step uh, to pop there, but you still have your regular movement if you want. Yeah. Um, so I am going to. Uh, drop into the water and swim as fast as I can. Okay. Where um, that little exit there. Uh, you do. Um, okay, so you're heading attack? this way. You do get an opportunity attack, but since she's underwater, it's made a disadvantage. I'll risk it. All right. <laughs> she really wants to kill me right now. So. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> All right. So. So what is that? Okay, so... so it, you're, two, you're making yeah. a weapon attack. Weapon attack. Okay, so... I've got... I'm using my Warhammer two-handed. Uh -huh. <laughs> and remember, you you do the bonus based on a strength of, of 25, which means oh. uh, it would be um, plus 7. Oh, okay. So... First so plus seven. So with your proficiency bonus, you're basically d20 plus ten to make the attack. <laughs> okay, so the first but one at is disadvantage. A right, the first one's a twenty. Uh, the second one is a. You said plus ten, right? Yeah. Twenty-eight. So. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> she does hit you, Felista. Safely hit me. Yeah, and so now the damage is going to be whatever your. Let's see what your. It's normal. three times. It's so it's like three d8. Or 3d10, because I'm two-handed. Okay. Plus your strength bonus at plus seven. Alright, yeah, I don't, I don't have all the details of the potion up, right? So I'm, gonna, I'm trusting you on this. Six, two, seven. Having to math, so 23 plus, what did you say, my strength bonus? Well, your plus seven is your strength bonus right now, yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, so, <laughs> what did I say? 23 plus 7, so 30. <laughs> nice. So that's like, literally, oh, all my hit points. Yeah. You, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, it splatters. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, uh, you are knocked no, unconscious. No, because I'm not at negative 10 yet. Um, you are knocked unconscious, um, uh, Kalista. 
uh, under the water. Floating in the water. Yeah. <laughs> she can't breathe either. Wow. Yeah, that... Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so dark. Yeah. Okay. So, um. Later, bitch. <laughs> Knowing how close you guys are, this is traumatizing. <laughs> okay, that was Kalista's turn. Um, so, Archie, it is actually your turn now. You have the spiritual weapon and this cultist right up like next high to school. you. Um, and, uh. Um, uh, and one of the cultists, you are no longer paralyzed, but you are prone. Smack me with your Warhammer any day, Starla. <laughs> Aww, that's so sweet. Oh, thank you for this. Um, okay, yeah, so like I, I had to depart for a second and came back in, so so Starla knocked her down. She, she killed is, her. She is unconscious. Oh, unconscious. unconscious. Sweet. Any chance you were My using favorite. non-lethal damage? Yeah, okay. Huh. Didn't think so. So, yeah, unconscious, though, is not... Way. Unconscious is not dead, but, yeah. Right. Oh, I can fix that. <laughs> it could be. Soon. <laughs> yeah, potentially. Let me do it. I have, um, a... I have the dagger. Huh? <laughs> uh -huh. I'm just gonna go ahead and attack the guy in front of me. Okay. You yeah, stand you up for prone, I assume? on the back, get poetic oh, yeah, yeah. about it. Yeah. I can stand with more sure. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, uh, 21, first attack. All right. All right, yeah, that hits. With, uh, 10 points of slashing damage. And you then... kill him with one slash. Woo! Wait, and then I will, uh... Hmm. <laughs> I get two attacks, but I can't attack, move, and then attack. Uh, I think you can. There's, and there's I'll charge the guy next can. to Alaric and attack him. Alright. It's off in my plate. 17. Alright, uh, that hits. And, uh, yeah, he, he was almost gone already, so... I 12 points a day. Yeah, he's dead. All right, his spiritual weapon fades. And, um, you guys hear a burbling sound coming from the well. Woo! Yay! Uh, Nira, it is your turn now. <laughs> <laughs> Sit on the uh, well. Sit there, on the well. We still have those two cultists. Uh, yeah, there's Let's... these two cultists that are up by Andri. Andri has them. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. <laughs> um, mm, how far can I get? Yeah, the, the water, I'm... you're standing on the bottom now, by the way. The water is, like, up to your, you know, like, your... Right. Ma ...ripcage, maybe. Um, I'm going to go... I'm gonna go towards where Andre is and see if I can help her there. I'm not sure what the <laughs> I mean you can do whatever you want. Um, yeah, but I think I'm gonna get a little bit can I get a little further from the well? <laughs> you don't necessarily need to be right there. Because I sent something big earlier in the water. So mm -hmm. um, and then I'm gonna smash this guy with my hammer. Okay. Um, that is a, let's see, plus seven. So, twenty-one. Uh, alright, yeah, you, 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 you hit. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's a six, plus five, eleven, um, nineteen, plus seven, is twenty-six. <laughs> I like this so much. <laughs> yeah, he, this guy is paced <laughs> on the stairs. Your, your giant you, yeah. triple size warhammer. This guy is just at this point you're just flat, making wine. Yeah, it's flat mark. All right, um, that was your turn. Um, uh, do, 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 do. let's see. Um, Alaric, this would be your turn now. Okay. Um, 
If I dash, how close to that guy that remains can I get? Um, wait, uh, to this guy? This guy? Yeah. Uh, if you're dashing, staying above the water, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. My move is 25, so it's only yeah. 15 total. 40, 50. You can get here, which was 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He's 35 feet. Further, but that's okay. Um, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna hit him with a cruise. Last long enough to do more than one round. <laughs> um, I would recommend I him, finishing her off if you can. <laughs> I can't really coming. get that far over, unfortunately. I've got this shiny dagger, and I really want to try out its special features. <laughs> So if she's still alive by the time I get to her, then I'm going to try to. Uh, okay. Uh, for the time being, uh, crossbow on, uh, on, on the, the remaining deep. cultist there? Yeah. Okay. Natural one. Uh, you hit Andri. Oh! <laughs> now, does like, that kind of sneak at me? Is that in your No, yeah, I'm happy to roll sneak damage. Make, roll the regular damage, though. Okay. Of course, that would be the bigger one. Hmm. And that's 10 points. 10 points? She, yeah. So she turns around and she's like, "Dude, I'm not good with these <laughs> bows." And I throw my dagger instead. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, long range though, so there's a disadvantage. Okay. There's a high chance to get another one. All right. And I did. Really? Yeah. So okay. Yeah. Roll I just the damage took on again. Yeah. That. So uh, Andrew just points. turned around to look at you and gets a dagger to the chest. So what? What? What's the damage? Six points. Six, Six points. points. Okay. She's well, okay, but she is suddenly really wounded by you Sorry. and not by the cultist. She's I'm like, not turning on you. I'm just <laughs> sucking today. <laughs> she, 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 alarmed. She's like, like, is everybody turning on us now? What's going on? <laughs> oh. Man, I'll make it up to you. I don't know how, but I'll do I'll that. I'll buy you a beer later. Uh, I'll right right my shoulders if you need to. Okay. Um, Fuck. Amethyst. So we Andrea is suddenly in a much worse shape than she was a second ago with this couple yeah. of all over her. Am I? I think I'm. I'm too far from her, aren't I? Uh, well, you're. She? You're. You're right here. She's right here, so you could get to her. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Let me. Um. Let me go and cast. Uh. It's a touch. So let me move to her and cast cure wounds. Okay. Right, go ahead and roll um, that. Cast it at a um, let's see. It's a level one and I'm gonna cast it at a two levels higher. Okay. No wait, at second level. Yeah, third level I think is what it is, right? Yeah, third level. So that'll add two more D eights to the roll. All right. Wait, what's I, I know I ask this all the time, but the spell casting ability modifier is that like the plus six number that is always blows my mind? Maybe it is always going to be your wisdom plus your proficiency. It just always blows my mind. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, let me cast it at a third level, which is okay. 3d8. I mean, I don't know how much damage she's she, taken, but... She is 23 down from total. Yeah, let me do, let me do it at that level, so... <laughs> Fifteen. So much of that. I'm really sorry. Fifteen. Fifteen. All it's right. cool, man. Shit happens. <laughs> okay. Yeah. She's suddenly looking a lot better, and she's, you know, the slightly wild-eyed look. It's calming a little bit. I was just fighting this guy. In this. <laughs> it was an accident, babe. It was just that dead bitch that was the betrayed us. Don't worry. We got you. <laughs> All right. So. Um, <laughs> It is the shark's turn. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Um, no there's water. nothing in the water, is there? Well, there's one thing. I the mean, water. there's nothing. There's no cultists or anybody no. in the water. No, there's the only remaining cultists here. is this Eat guy. Lauren! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I was going to watch the well and circle it, but maybe. Maybe. <laughs> the cool. well is definitely burbling. Yeah. So yeah, the the shark is going to just kind of move between. Um, let's see, Alark's over there. The shark is just going to kind of 
move closer to the well, okay. and I'm going to hold an action that if anything comes out, it's going to eat its face. Okay. Uh, all right. Is that cool? Yeah. Um, it is Andri's turn. She's going to attack this remaining cultist. And she kills him. Yay! Yeah. All right. Well, um, time to splash. <laughs> okay. So, um, at this point, a giant tentacle suddenly surges up from the water, almost as big around as the well itself. Mm-hmm. It snags Kalista's body and it pulls her down underneath. Damn it! <laughs> um, it's still burbling, though, and then after it, the tentacle withdraws, suddenly another monster emerges from it with giant pincer claws and a face full of little tentacles and four legs is this weird, horrible mon- monstrosity. Oh, so cute. So the tentacle would happen so oh. fast that um, the shark can make an attack against it before this monster comes up. Um, it was waiting, so it probably would have tried to do that. Let's Grab a do leg. It. Yes. So. Make a wish. plus, I think it was four? Um, yes. To hit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, that, that hits the giant tentacle. Sweet. And... I, I'll tell you right now, though, that it doesn't do enough damage to make any difference in the tentacle yeah. across. So, um, the, but this, uh, now this monster has just shown up. Um, and it's actually got the, the shark right in its face, and it's going to attack that shark. Yay! All right. <laughs> okay. Where is this thing? Okay. It's making its two, two attacks with its pincers. Um, against the shark. Got a little shark tank. That's what uh, that's I brought a 16. Him for. Uh, 16 hits. <laughs> shark tank. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, and then let's see. Two, six plus four. Three. That's seven um, bludgeoning damage. And the shark is grappled. Mm-hmm. Um, it is now making another. Um, uh, another pincer attack with its other pincer. That's also going to hit. Tw- with another 12 bludgeoning damage. It wasn't damaged before this, was it? Nope. I didn't have any. No. Okay. It wasn't. So, um, but uh, now that it has it pin- uh, grappled, it's also going to, like, with its little tentacles. Natural. Um, so it needs to make a constitution saving throw. Um, 19. 19. Okay, so the shark is still kind of thrashing around trying to escape the uh, the pincers of this thing. Uh, okay, so uh, Archie, you're up. You know, I'm not down with all the drowning, so I'm going to shoot some arrows. All right. <laughs> I don't think there's any spells that could really help me here, but uh, no. Okay, so fire arrow one. All right. For fourteen, the arrow glances off the hard exoskeleton of this thing. Oh. No damage. Fire two. For eighteen. Uh, that one hits. You find a weak spot in this thing's flesh. All right. Uh, four points of piercing damage. All right. Uh, it, it looks like it does not care about that at all. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, you see that it, it the, the, ar- the arrow stuck into it, but it's just not, does hardly even react. Uh, all right. Um, uh, Nira. Um, this thing is underwater, so again, your attack will have disadvantage. Right. Um, what if I cast Shatter? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> you can do that. Because I like that one. An um, oldie but a goodie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that is, uh, an, uh, 
A saving throw, I believe. Yeah, okay. a constitution saving throw. Okay. Um, it rolls... 13. That Easy. does not... That's not good enough. Not good enough. Okay, so... Um, I would also like to use my, um... The shark also needs to roll a constitution saving throw. Um, <laughs> that would be a six, Christiana. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm using my destructive wrath. All right. To, so um, I think this kills the shark. This shark Sorry. wave blows it up like jaws. Oh. The, uh, the the shark is just it it's it became its own blood frenzy. <laughs> Sorry. Sweet. Oh man, that's that's the job. <laughs> but yeah. the uh, but this monster uh, also takes what twenty four thunder. Twenty four. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely feels that one. <laughs> Good. But it also is still looking fairly vital, and the shark is chunks. Okay. Uh, do 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 do. Alaric. I'm sorry, Andrew. This is probably going to hurt, and I summon my my dagger back. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Yeah. I. It was not still embedded in her. But. Okay. <laughs> that is so it's dark, though. Yeah. yeah. I think it I'm makes sense we would have pulled that out when she was healed by Amethyst. But yeah. Okay, so you summon your dagger back. All right. And um, <laughs> now how deep is this pool? It's like ten feet deep. Oh, only ten feet? Yeah. Oh. Um. Okay. And it's only about 20 feet away from me? Uh, y yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's kind of on a slope, but about, yeah. All right. I'm going to, uh, would it make a difference if I was in the water and trying to shoot things at a distance or not? Um, so if you're trying to shoot, make a ranged attack, yeah. doing it from above the surface makes a difference. It does, okay. Uh, better or well, difference okay. or worse difference? Uh, you know what? I think mechanically it ends up being the same. So it's, it's, it's an attack at disadvantage. Then I will stay where I am. All right. And same kind of attack. Nothing is around it. Even near Keen is far enough away from it. If I yeah, miss, she's not, I'm not no, going to kill anybody. No. I'm not going to hurt anything. <laughs> Just it. So no I've, sneak I've, attack, I've, though. No. Yeah. no. Uh, not unless there's something else. Like that. Um, I will fire the uh, crossbow first. Okay. And that's not good enough. I'm pretty sure a nine doesn't hit. No. So, hopefully, this Spanish stuff is killing me. And, <laughs> yeah. Or killing other people. And I'm pretty sure a ten doesn't hit. No. I'm going to use my uh, move then. Okay. Uh, to start circling around. Which, whoops, so which way are you going? going? Um, around this the, way? Yes. Okay. Staying at the water level? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Amethyst. Um, I'm going to cast Hold Person. Can I cast Hold Person on that critter? Uh, no. Unfortunately, uh, Hold Person needs to be humanoid. It's not any bit. Okay. You need to hold the monster. Yeah. Um, Higher level that spell. Gonna... Um... All right, cool. Then I guess the only thing I have left that I can do, unless, how injured is Andre at this point? Um, she she's is okay. only eight hit points down. She's oh, okay, cool. Head. So I'm going to let's see. I'm going to uh, change into wild shape. Okay. What are you becoming? As I'm still. Uh, I mean, you um, can be a hunter shark. You know, it's, in honor um, it's, of your. In honor of my fallen, in. my fallen baby. Yeah. Um, so I this, had the token for that. <laughs> what are you trying to be? Do, uh, do I know um, if this is a creature that's like bound in water and can't leave water? You don't know that. Okay. Um. So this is one I've been wanting to do. I sent it to you along with the hunter shark. I'm. I think I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do giant octopus. 
Okay. Uh, I, <laughs> let me let me draw a little giant octopus here. I've been dying to do the octopus. It just sounds fun. Join the cephalopody. Yeah, I want tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> Cephalopody starts now. How's, how's that little, my little Very nice. love. giant octopus? I love. Mm. Okay. But it's not purple. It's not. It's Sorry, right. I only had a red pen. That's cool, man. That's cool. Um, And I'm going to. <laughs> I'm gonna. Actually, I do have a purple dry erase marker. <laughs> uh, oh, there was a purple octopus in Toy Story 3, wasn't there? <laughs> <laughs> It was sparkly. So, uh, are you you're wanting him right there? Yeah. Okay, roll initiative for him. Sixteen. I don't know if I don't think I had anything to that. Are, are you summoning or are you becoming the octopus? Becoming. Oh, you're you're right. Oh, no, right. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no new sorry. initiative. You have become a giant octopus. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> you're Thank absolutely right. You. All right. Wild shape. Giant octopus. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go over and ink it. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna hit it with a tasty ink cloud, 20 foot radius. Okay. Yeah. I guess um, I gotta go over to it first. Yeah, I gotta go over to it to cast it. Obviously, I forgot okay. that part. I'm not casting a spell. I'm inking it. Right. It's still an action though. So basically, yeah. Um, yeah where's my... um, I like to think that the ink is purple glitter ink. Yeah. <laughs> I like that too. Of course it is. So it doesn't say, but I'm assuming that that means that it's a disadvantage or something? Uh, it is heavily obscured, which means that it is effectively can't see while it's in the ink cloud. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to do the dash action to... Um, and your swim I, is 60 feet, so you can, you can get pretty much anywhere in the water, okay. but you can only move 10 feet on uh, out of the water. So where you can go gotcha. wherever you want in the water. So like you could get all the way around to here or whatever you want to do. Um, let me nearest giant. So I'm gonna go over by um, Alaric and um, okay. Archie. Yeah. Kind of park in front yeah. of them since I'm do a high giant right now. <laughs> all right. Um, okay. So where I'll, I'll close my notes. Okay, that was your turn. It is Andri's turn. Uh, she's gonna fire her short bow at it, but it's at disadvantage. Oh, those two sixteens, those are both gonna hit. So Ooh, that's a good one. Wow, yeah. Fifteen. She does fifteen points of damage with that arrow. Ooh. Okay, um, and actually she has another arrow. I literally just rolled four 16s in a row. <laughs> wow. That mm. damage is not as good though. It's much that's better than three one. Eight. That's another eight. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, it, this thing is still you know, making incomprehensible monstrous noises that make you feel like you're maybe just a little bit insane. Just a little. Uh, okay, that was Andre's turn. It is now... Do -do -do. Uh, Archie. Um, you right. can't... You, any attack to against it is going to be in disadvantage because you can't see it. And it's underwater, so it's kind of would be... You know, we're not doubling the disadvantage, but it's uh, so I can't. Uh, you know what? Sorry, I actually had its initiative ahead of you, so I, it actually okay. has its turn first, which might change things up. Um, yeah, go for it. I think it is gonna come out looking for where um, uh, the octopus came from, so it's coming out of the ink here, um, and then. Mm. Aren't we glad we left the doorway blocked, guys? <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? I think I'll go. It'll go ahead and try to um, uh, pincer you. Uh, uh, 
uh, uh, Nira? Of course it does. Yeah. So <laughs> that's a ten for the first one. Nope. But then that is a uh, a twenty-two for the second one. That'll do it. Fifteen bludgeoning damage. But you are <laughs> Sorry, too Nira. big to be grappled. This little pig yes. just can't open oh. wide enough to grapple you. <laughs> Nice. All right. Uh, okay, that is its turn. So Archie, it's your turn. You can see this thing has emerged from the cloud of ink, but it is still underwater. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to cast Compelled Duel Ooh. on it. Yeah. So it makes a Wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw time. It's an 18. Uh, person. Yeah. My DC is 14. Oh, well. Cool idea. Wah, wah. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, that was your turn. Are you moving at all? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll go ahead and run around the pool. Run down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're going in the water? Uh, not in the water, but down and around towards it. Okay. So, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can get here. Cool. All right. Uh, Nira. I'm going to smash it with my hammer. <laughs> Yay. Am I still at disadvantage? Yeah, because yeah. basically you're smashing through the surface of the water, which is going to significantly impact your swing. All right, so in a plus seven. Okay, so then it's... <laughs> you are also math. big enough, you could potentially just try to, like, grapple and grab this thing. <laughs> <laughs> but I really oh like my the gosh. hammer. Well, yeah, I don't get to use it enough. <laughs> it, is kind of, it is kind of like a giant uh, crayfish. It is plus 10, too, by the way, not plus 7. Oh, it's plus 10? Because you have your yeah. proficiency bonus as well as the strength bonus. Yeah. It's oh. plus 7 oh, to damage. Oh, yeah. Okay. So then it's a 27 and a 20 is what I rolled. So it does 20. Yeah. Because you have a gigantic war hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to do a She-Hulk uh, costume. The splash yep. that it creates when you pound your your Warhammer into the water is like splashing, like throughout this whole chamber. Like you would imagine, there's water coming out of the skylight when that happens. How tall is this thing? Seventeen. What? She is like fifteen feet. No, no. the thing. Oh, this so thing is is like maybe nine or ten feet. It's out of the water. But it's yeah, it's it's still beneath the surface. Damn. Splash more water away from it. <laughs> Plus seven, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh nineteen. Nineteen. Alright. You hit it. It doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Not a thing. <laughs> yeah, it's it's still moving, although its little exoskeleton's got some cracks in it. Uh, Alaric. Can I get to it? I'll hold my breath. You, uh, you can start swimming, but you're you're going to be half speed at that, so... Uh, yeah. Like, you could get kind of to here. Okay. I will is, uh, yeah, use my bonus action then to retrieve my dagger. Okay. And yeah. once again, throw the throw the dagger. God, is is Nira <laughs> keen in the way again? No. Something in the way. I'm a pretty big target, it's behind, so it's behind the thing, but it's pretty big. Right. So I will try to hit it with the uh, again fire the crossbow, then throw the dagger. Okay. Oh, that's better. Um, fourteen. Is that with disadvantage? Yes. Okay. Uh, fourteen doesn't hit. It. Kwing. Off of this, okay, uh, now the dagger. Uh, 19. 19. That is with disadvantage. All right, yeah, that hits the dagger. Excellent. Hits. He's there, and finally, for the first yeah. time in like 14 years, I get to use sneak attack. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, that is... Yeah, there is definitely an ally within five feet of... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> within five within feet, feet of everything, feet of come on. Feet it is uh, very within five feet. It's ally. Uh, 13 damage. 13 total? Piercing. When Mira sends, sits right. around the temple, yeah, this thing she sits is, around. <laughs> the this thing is not, um, it is not completely gone yet, but you guys, it, it's definitely looking weak now. Uh, all right. Oh, okay. Um... Amethyst. This thing's kind of emerged from the ink cloud. Um, but you guys have kind of got it surrounded now. Yeah. What's the octop the giant octopus size compared to it? It's a large beast, um, but I don't know. This thing is probably a little bigger, but you are mechanically the same size. You're both large creatures. Okay, so I'm going to um, swim over and grab it. Okay. Tentacle attack? Yeah. Alright. Make your make your attack. Plus five. Sixteen plus five twenty-one. Yeah, that, that hits. So go ahead and roll the two D six plus three bludgeoning damage. Seven. Seven. Okay. Um it is not completely dead, however, it is grappled and restrained. <laughs> As part of that grapple, because your awesome. tentacles have just you're, you've wrapped up and kind of wrapped up, tied up all of its little pincers and, and everything. It's, so it's restrained. It's restrained. Yes. So we have advantage of it against it, which negates the disadvantage of being in water. Correct. <sighs> Get it, guys. It I'll is Andrew's turn, and she, but at this point, I think she's looking at how weak it is and that it's grappled, and she's kind of like, someone else wants the kill shot. Like I don't. It's not a big deal. Again. Yeah. <laughs> huh? So should I? Or I mean, hey, go ahead, man. Right. You can yeah. fight along with the I've rest of us. No Take it. Deny you it. Uh, with it, with it, literally restrained, kind of at the surface of the water. I, I'm gonna say she literally just kind of walks up with her sword and just goes, nice. and it sort of twitches. We need to keep the stats on how many kills she's got. <laughs> so I drop the, the right? I drop the little monster and I clap with four sets of. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so this thing goes limp. Um, Ew, as you guys are kind of collecting yourselves and just looking around and you know, make sure everything everyone's um, okay, um, kind of above the, the center of the. Uh, the chamber, like you saw back in that one, uh, the shrine where Estevan did his ceremony, you see like the mist sort of condense in the air to kind of make a shape. It's a little bit more distinct than it was before. It makes a shape uh, kind of like this. It looks oh. almost like a fish that's sort of floating in the air, but with various tentacles, and it's got three eyes and it's sort of floating in the air, and it says. <laughs> My worshippers promised me an offering today, and they were insufficient to the task. So now, I offer you a choice. You can become my servants, and I can reward you. Or you can go on your way. Yeah, I'm already spoken for. Are you then I the can do of something Elamon? about that, Nirakina Ethu. I know that you did not choose to become a cleric of Rushama. I could sever this connection. <laughs> it's like literally the devil in the deep blue sea. And then uh, turns to Amethyst <laughs> and says, I could restore your memories. Archie, I could help you achieve your vengeance. And to Alaric, I could help you to outshine your father's legacy. Think. Are you the spirit Elamon then? I am. Right. I'm a little less than impressed. But. <sighs> There's things that need doing, and that's what these folks are here for. I suppose, in a way, I'm here to also offer you something. Uh, a welcome, I guess. 
the stone. From another spirit. Yes. Yeah. Very well. I will accept it. I haven't given it to you yet. There's a little back and forth here. Do it or do not. There is no try. Yeah, that's what my teachers used to tell me. <laughs> Look, have you seen any large purple blobs? You speak of the fisher. I know exactly what you are looking for. You may not oh. seal it. Oh, see, that's going to be a problem. Yeah. Also, this is a bit wet for my taste, so I think I'm going to have to pass. Mm. Why not? So, which way to the fisher? <laughs> you will not be permitted to seal it. And then it I just don't... disappears. Fades. <laughs> Like we were asking. Not much of right. a conversation. <laughs> All right. So you guys uh, have have disposed of the enemy combatants in here. Uh, Nira, you are stuck 15 feet tall for 24 hours. You yep. cannot fit through any of the doors. <laughs> <laughs> Can she go through the skylight? Hmm? Wait, what was that spell? Where's that she reduced could climb spell? Up there, but there's nothing to climb on, really. It's 40 feet tall. Like so, she can't she can't reach up to it, and there's nothing to climb to get there. I mean, we can make a new door. <laughs> Hell, you can. That's make what a new shatter door. is for, <laughs> right? I'm just so how he's already how, pissed off. How Plus, high is the ceiling to get through the sky? The sky it is thing? thirty feet above the surface of the water, which is forty feet from the floor of the oh. chamber. Oh shoot. But I think one. we're going to go ahead and call it here and we'll deal with you guys uh, <laughs> making your new plans uh, as we move forward. And so let's let's get a round of thanks to right. Kalista. Who, uh, yay. I did yay. not anticipate the potion of giant strength. It kind of oh my God. made that happen a little quicker than it might have. I have been <laughs> waiting to use that. That's the right moment. It was yeah, a very I, did, I did uh, not have a... <laughs> sufficient warning about <laughs> that it, it was, <laughs> so it would dispel magic work on a on potion effects like that yes yeah <laughs> oh man <laughs> you lucky used it up too soon <laughs> i was kind of counting on that but <laughs> well, that's yeah. awesome and it was check off potion very well because you did specifically <laughs> take it out of the bag yeah and then it's like i've got this right here totally got it right here I have been itching to use, I, and I was I was debating between <laughs> using that or the flying one, but ultimately I just really wanted to smash her face. So <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you, Lauren. It was quite effective. <laughs> well, and the, the prospect cool. of you being stuck in this temple now amuses me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So did I just get sacrificed? Is that what happened? Well, I don't know. We'll have to talk about it. Well, Grumpy guest didn't seem to think we, so. Because she was only unconscious. What I will say though. is. I yeah. gave all of you a full round to see if you're going to finish her off, and you didn't. So that's why yeah, the tentacle, right. tentacle grabbed her. Gosh. I, I would have, but Alaric there said he wanted to use his dagger. So I was trying yeah. to be nice. Well, some of <laughs> and now it's going to bite us in the ass. I'm never going to use this dagger. See what I'm happens when you're nice kill. to people. Yeah, yeah, See? they come back. Like I said, we've learned our lesson. If we want you to come back, we can <laughs> kill you. So, bam, we didn't kill you. So you were, we're just thinking Starla, of for how nice it was to have you around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, you were just thinking of uh, letting me come back sometime. Yeah, and we'll totally not think anything ill of you or attack you on sight. <laughs> no, no, totally not. Can I come Freaking back with, though. like, minions, please? Like, lots of them? Well, there, there was, need them. But, like, all the cultists showed up, but it kind of happened quickly. Like, uh, you know, I, I had the one guy say something, which kind of tipped it but then you you sort of in, entered initiative you know so like the cultists had to have time to wait to their turn to to appear you know they yeah. were trying to help you you know he was giving you the the tools it was kind of on you <laughs> honestly i, really I think... wanted to i really wanted to dispel magic on that water breathing thing. Was, yeah man well and honestly was... i think awesome. that this would have played out fairly differently if not for um the, that potion of giant strength, uh, giant size, <laughs> allowing her to one shot you. Like, if not for that, I think that this goes differently because oh, yeah. the vampiric touch that she had just cast on you, um, Nira, she could have used a bonus action on every turn to do that damage again and recover that many hit points every time. Oh, 
Sweet. So yes. if you hadn't one shot at her, her <laughs> next turn she could have recovered and damaged you without even being anywhere near you. Mm. Yeah. But so if you hadn't done exactly the amount of damage you needed to knock her out with one hit, <laughs> you were sitting. You were sitting there. You're like wow. 23 plus, and I was just like, not seven, not seven. And, and Christiana was like seven, and I was like, damn it. <laughs> click, 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 click. That's everything. <laughs> no whammies, no whammies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, so God, many so thanks uh, to you for for joining us. Um, that was a fun little mini arc, and who knows? And we'll never trust anybody again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we say well, that, Amethyst but... can't help herself. Sorry. <laughs> um, I was I was glad that uh, you know it kind of it could have uh, you know. Uh, she she did a great job at leading you guys on. Like, but, yeah, you know, the, she was amazing. The understanding was, was she like, needed hey, to get you guys the into the ritual chamber. Is, is was the uh, assignment. Yeah. Well, I was like, there's no. Hey, nobody's here, and where's the sacrifice? Did we miss it? Are we too late? Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, what? Like, I don't know. Guess what? Guess what? Let me come over and check the Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was Let awesome. me go. No, no. Leave the exit get up block, the wall guys. Way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i think awesome. that'll do it for this time thank you everybody for listening and or watching uh, especially uh those of you new folks who maybe came over from reddit and i will uh will be back uh with more but what i want to also emphasize is more but <laughs> more but that's what i heard more too. yeah but. more but um, we heard you and we're responding Yes. <laughs> coming up on November 4th and 5th is Extra Life, and I'll be running 24 hours worth of Dungeons & Dragons with some of these good folks you see here participating in that. We're going to be running the Tomb of Annihilation module uh, 24 hours worth over that weekend, so uh, check out links associated with this video, and you will find the link so you can pledge. It goes to Children's Hospitals. It's a good cause. You should do it. I'm having super fun rolling my character for that. <laughs> like stupid, stupid, super fun, by the way. Making I'm up scared. characters is the best. It's fun. It is. <laughs> and, uh, I already put uh, NaNoWriMo and I'm volunteering to do uh, the Young Writers Program at my oh, cool. one of my kids' high schools this year. So I kind of have to bow out of That's Extra awesome. Life, which well, I'm sure Bib is sad because I just put the smack down on the fundraising <laughs> last year. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we've, got a, we've got a lot of players, though. It's going to be fun. So yeah. we're playing, we're definitely playing Wednesday though, this coming Wednesday, because I thought there well, was a schedule. Conflict. You know, um, actually, what, you know, let, let's talk about that. So I don't, I don't okay. know for sure, but yes, maybe. <laughs> well, Chase and I, I well, hope it's it no, I think, I think the only reason I'm hesitating is just because um, I am kind of still preparing for you know, right. extra life. And so I might kind of decide it would be easier to not have all of that happening at once. And totally. I'm unavailable that night myself too. Just okay. right. That's I knew there was somebody. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I would say um, you can yeah, always you know Jaeger my character and I accidentally stab one of the others, then I shoot <laughs> one of the others, then I run away. So um, we'll uh, this this Wednesday this a week from today is an, uh, maybe but November fourth and fifth definitely extra life. Definitely. All right. So I think with that we'll go ahead and sign off. Um, uh, in the in the Twitch, um, uh, oh look, we guys, uh, no, all kinds of people. Of the winds. This is fun. Looks like I have a podcast to watch on Wednesdays. So yeah, Nano. Yeah, Nano Rimo is a National Novel Writing Month. Where it's a whole fun other project uh, that <laughs> I recommend you look up if it's interesting. NanoRimo.org. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but for now, let's sign off. And uh, we're glad to have uh, all of you watching, and I'll, we'll we'll be back uh, next time for adventure on so, so many, many levels. levels.